Today we're going to be doing just a typical HG Barbados. Uh, it is nothing special. We've already talked about iron-blooded diapers before. If you want to hear our opinions on it, <clears throat> check out well the the stream with the uh, Barbados Lupus, if you want, where we kind of went over the history of IBO a little bit. IBO fans, all that shit. <clears throat> TLDR, we like the designs. Anime is mid. Uh, anyway, today... Uh, like I said, we're going to be building a Barbatos Lupus, uh, not a Barbatos Lupus, just a Barbatos, just a high grade Barbatos. And the main reason for it is because I want to just have something to try to weather later on. I'm getting a bunch of the supplies that I need, uh, like a matte coat that should be arriving tomorrow and a clear coat that should also be arriving tomorrow. I've got a bunch of paints that I'm going to be uh, trying to fuck with uh, later on. And yeah, we're going to try to weather this thing because I thought to myself, what's the easiest kit that I or what's the cheapest kit I can buy? that is easily produced uh that is available everywhere and that i can i can if if a part breaks or some shit i can easily find a replacement and the answer was the rx78 and i thought cool what's the second uh <laughs> cheapest uh like kit i can find that it fits that same criteria and the answer was the zaku 2 and i thought okay so what's the third one and it's the barbados uh, you can easily find a Barbados at any hobby shop for less than 15 bucks in most cases. Um, honestly, uh, it, it's fucking outrageous. Here, let me let me turn on my camera real quick and show <clears throat> again what we're gonna be building, which is the shit. So, here's the kit. This is this is the most. This is a basic uh, Barbados, right? It's nothing special. It's literally just the Barbados with his giant fucking mace and a katana for some reason, right? <clears throat> And this kit is cheap as fuck uh, to get, that is. Just make sure you look in the right places, and please don't overpay for these. They're not worth what some people are selling them for. Because <laughs> uh, I was talking to Shane uh, last time. Uh, like, when I got my Barbados Lupus, I got it for, like, 21 bucks, right? Which is, like, average what you would pay uh, for the kit plus shipping. In my case... Yeah, it's in, about... In, in, in my case, it was free shipping, but it's like the shipping's included, right? Like they're not going to tell you, oh yeah, we're going to charge you like five bucks or three bucks or whatever for shipping, right? So I paid like 15 bucks for the kit is, is the point. This one was 13. I, I paid like, it was at 13 bucks or 11 bucks for this kit, right? It, it's so fucking cheap. But if you go to eBay right now, you're going to see people selling this fucking kit for like anywhere from $22 with free shipping which is about average right it's not too overpriced from that much to about i've seen like 80 bucks <clears throat> like people selling this garbage for 80 bucks this is not worth 80 dollars do not buy no. this kit for 80 bucks the master grade is <clears throat> maybe worth 50 yeah if you but that's that's still like five dollars over price and that's like over its average price that's got more that's articulation that's got yeah. more parts it's got a full inner frame it is a much better no kit than this one uh like overall <clears throat> uh i don't even think it's scalpers i think it's just people like milking like ibo fans as they should B because yeah i mean at that point if you're gonna pay f like uh, like i told shane uh the barbados lupus that I, that I built i paid 21 bucks for it I, I that same day that i was looking for this fucking kit i saw some motherfucker selling it for 75 dollars plus like 30 dollars shipping from florida and i'm like what the fuck who would pay 70 fucking dollars for this shit um i double checked on amazon recently and as a matter of fact the barbados lupus is back on stock there if you really want a barbados get it from amazon it's 16 bucks and if you've got prime it's free shipping so at most 17 dollars which is probably the cheapest you're going to find it anywhere unless you go to a local hobby shop and they have it there mm. which they will probably have it for like what uh 10 bucks <laughs> maybe mm. so again we're going to be building this today and again the main reason for it is because i like the design of the barbados again i don't care too much about iron blooded diapers uh but the barbados has a cool design and i want to try to weather this thing it is a ground unit of course it doesn't really fight in space uh so it <clears throat> later it later space. later yeah. uh but it's a it's primarily a it well what wasn't this thing meant we, we talked about this in the fucking lupus uh fucking episode this thing this thing was meant to take out like fucking uh excavating machines or fucking whatever 
Uh, oh, uh, mobile armors. There you go. So it's like, it, it's it, it's it's just whatever. Yeah. It is just a it is just generic good looking kit that is widely available. Uh, because I did not I did not want to fuck up a Zaku. Later on though, we might build a, a Char's uh, Zaku too. That would be really cool. <clears throat> but I need to get the Zaku is like is it's like sacrilege. <laughs> it's like it's like a normal Tuesday for Zeon. Yeah, basically, it's like they mass produce them and they're like, you know what? Why are we doing this? <laughs> why don't we Why don't we pre weather them? You know, what? just just put a put a put a rifle blast. Why don't we just shoot them preemptively? Yeah, just you, give me your shield. Yeah, just shoot a hole through it. There we go. Yeah, fuck it. We there do. we go. You're ready for battle. Uh, so again, this kit, the, building this kit shouldn't take too long. Uh, I'll try not to take too long. The only thing that might take too long will be um, if you look at these bits right here. Like the back of the leg, it's got like wires. Yeah. Actually, actually, you probably can't see them. Got like poly um, caps. But here, it's got like wires. I'm gonna try to it's maybe like paint those caps. in gunmetal, which it's is a really nice caps. color. <clears throat> yeah, good luck finding that shit. You should have a replacement, right? Well, no, not for this kid. This kid's no. kind of you. <laughs> then get fucked. Make sure you find that. Um, Eventually. So uh, basically, all all the grayish like black parts that the Barbados has, I'm going to try to paint in gunmetal before I coat it and everything. Uh, like I said, I should be getting my, my coating spray sometime by tomorrow, maybe. If not, we'll, we'll probably, if, if Shane's free, we'll probably do the weathering stream on like Wednesday night or like Thursday. Um, and we'll see. <clears throat> it'll be it'll be a lot of fun, that's for sure. But yeah, um, we're going to be having, uh, for background music this time, we're just going to be having the Fallout 1 and 2 soundtrack. Just, well, just playing. Uh, it's gonna be like the extended versions. I was trying to look for like a 15 to 30 minute like ex extended playlist uh, No one's done that So the only one we found was one that combines both uh, Fallout 1 and 2 and each track is a fucking hour long And I don't know yeah. why they thought that would be a good idea, but you know what? It, it's it's okay um, <clears throat> I am using a new light this time. So we do have a different light up here. We can try changing uh, here like this so now it's like a bluish light uh, now it's like an orangey light, and then we're back to like white. <clears throat> so it's it's neat. It's actually not too too bad. Uh, I'm probably gonna move it forward a little bit more, like this. <clears throat> this should be good, honestly. Like just as is. This should be bright enough. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. I'll go ahead and uh, start the music now if you want. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of ambiance, uh, considering it. You know, this fucking soundtrack is just all that. It's very mm -hmm. good. I love it, but you know. But all right. I, I've also just I just love mm -hmm. the original Fallout games. Yeah, Fallout's fucking great. Uh, in instead of playing a Monster Hunter World, I was thinking of doing um, Fallout New Vegas. It's been New a Vegas while since I played fun. it, and New Vegas is a mine, lot of fun. Mine is fully modded mm -hmm. at this point. Like I can't play vanilla New Vegas anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I, like, like legitimate. Like, I've changed the combat so that like there's realistic like armor damage. Like so, if you're wearing a, a like a what's it called? If you're wearing a um, <clears throat> what's it called? If you're wearing like a helmet and you get shot in the head, it won't fucking kill you immediately. But if you're not wearing a helmet and you get shot in the head, you die. But it also goes for me. So mm -hmm. it's like I don't know. Like it just uh, it's a brutally hard game. Like I have to watch my calories and shit. <laughs> like yeah, if I, I eat know. too much food, I'll die. <laughs> you, you, you turned it into a literal like survival game. Oh yeah, I I'm t I I only play hardcore mode honestly. I can't even enjoy the story anymore. I, play, I love it for the the gameplay and like the open ended choices. I mean, story is good, but like the story's incredible. But you ever thought about it three. playing it in hardcore survival mode where you got to watch your calorie intake? Literally, you have to watch your body fat. You have to watch your BMI. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so it's like have you heard of the game scum yes and no i like i like the idea of scum where like you have to constantly monitor monitor all of your calories your blood levels your fucking your blood sugar there's like a there's a screen it, there's a stat screen for scum that's literally just a bunch of like like percentages and like it looks like you're looking at a uh, like a stock market <laughs> and you have to make sure you manage all of those. That's fucking funny. It's really, it's like, it's like brutally hard too. I don't it's know. just I like, too much iron, too much iron. Dump, 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 dump. Sell it now, sell it now, sell it now. 
<laughs> if you actually there's a really good game that's like that there's like it's like something like space cyberspace like organ like market or something it's really fun like it's literally like buy sell buy sell but you're you're trading in human organs that's pretty cool actually it's, it's actually a really fun game like it's incredibly fun like there's a lot of strategy involved with it math games in disguise yeah because you're fucking it really is a math game in disguise <laughs> it's, it's like it's like going on cool math and finding out that there's fucking like uh what's it called like bricklayer or something uh, I think this light doesn't change. Actually, let me see if, uh, if the bluish light uh, makes it a little more noticeable. Um, this light might be a little better for getting the colors, actually. So that's not too bad. Because uh, this looks red, instead of it looking like a, a pale orange, sort of, compared to before. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's not too bad. Maybe. We'll see. This, this light, to me, is a little dimmer, I guess. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um... But I do need it to be bright enough for it to be, like, caught on camera, right? So I let's go back to this. <clears throat> I'm putting this on the wrong arm. I should probably put this on this arm. There we go. And we just have all the I'm, ASMR. I think that's correct. <clears throat> right. Building the TSF is difficult. The instructions aren't as good, and they're also really good at the same time. Oh yeah, we didn't oh, mention that. Uh, you're continuing your Muplov kit, which was the one that you were gonna build along the with first me. time, and like, I gave uh, up. Yeah. <laughs> when I was building the RX-78, you were like, "Yeah, I'm gonna build this," and you're like, eh, "Maybe not." Maybe not. Yeah, it's a it's a difficult kit. Well, not difficult, but it's like not what I'm used to. All right. <clears throat> and this is again, this is the only thing that I completely fucking forgot about. Um, when ordering this kit, because I, I bought this one and the Astroth in the same, like, order, right? And I fucking forgot about polycaps. I'm like, man... I hate these things. I really yeah. do. Like, they're, they're not super bad, right? But they're such a pain in the ass if they're a bad batch. Um, so here's hoping these are good. Here's the polycaps. Hmm. <clears throat> And here we have just more of the, like, body. This is what I meant by some of the stuff that I'm going to be painting in gunmetal. This is, like, the shoulder and the back. Um, this is uh, one of the boosters. This is one of the weapons. The mace, right? The iconic mace that he has. This is the... This goes in the back as well. Here's the spine. Uh, we're going to try to make this look kind of nice, at, at least a little bit. Um, because, like I said, this is what I'm going to be weathering. Um, Oof, I didn't realize my cat was screaming at me to let him in a second. Yeah, no worries. I didn't hear him until right now. And, Everybody. and again, if you don't know what weathering is, it's basically making your kit or making, yeah, making your model kit look as if it were damaged by weather, uh, having it filled with rust, uh, all that shit. So this is just going to be the building stream. We're going to more than likely speed run through the Barbados. It's not going to take me too long. Uh, unless I really do take my time with this, uh, if I get distracted talking with Shane. <clears throat> Otherwise, it shouldn't be too long. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the thing that I'm going to be preparing to weather. So we'll build it today. When I get all the shit ready, I'll spray paint it with a, uh, a matte coating and get that prepared. And then we're going to, like, the following day or whatever, we're going to get it ready and start actually painting it on stream. To some extent. I'll do some parts or whatever on stream. Uh, we'll see how long we can go. <clears throat> but for now, let's get started. <clears throat> I already started. I don't care. Fuck you. Dude, that kit's been like half complete for how long now? It's not even half, but it's like one third complete. <laughs> a third complete? Yeah. You got the torso and the head ready? No, I just have... I don't even... I have the shoulders, and then I have mm. partially the arms. Close. My cat's fucking freaking out because I wasn't letting him in my room for a while. <laughs> Maybe you should have let me know. Huh? Uh, I was hearing the meowing, and I was going to tell you, but I didn't think you... I thought no, you I were. I thought it. you were. I thought you were ignoring him. No, I didn't hear it. No. My Fallout music is very loud. Oh, maybe that's why. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, um, right. a bit ago before we started <clears throat> streaming, I was like, oh yeah, no, there was um, there was some kits that I was interested in, in getting, uh, and I wasn't sure like what to make my first master grade um kit, besides <clears throat> um, <clears throat> either um. The uh, Turn A Gun, the Master Grade, which I really want to get. Oh, that that changes like the lighting a little. You see this? My hands are so pale 
they 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 changed the lighting completely. Holy shit! Um, <laughs> it changes the white balance. It, yeah, <laughs> it's got to accommodate for my level of paleness. <laughs> As I disappear, the closer I get. <laughs> You're wearing a hair tie, or is that like one of those like my like ball cancer rubber bracelets? This I don't remember. Uh, it's it's I think it's a bracelet that a friend gave to me ages ago, and I've just worn worn it since. Oh, dude, yeah. <clears throat> like, I, I have my hair tie back right now. <laughs> I had one of those before. Mm. I this isn't for cancer. This is for fucking something else. Nice. But I've, had, I've had this for, like, 12 years. You know, yeah, I feel that. Come on, come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. <clears throat> but yeah, so I was thinking, like, man, what Master Grades could I get? Like, what I really want like? a really good Master Grade to start off with. And there's quite a few. The Turn A, the turn <clears throat> a is really good. I know that all the Turn A Master Grades are fantastic. <clears throat> um, uh, let me look at my shelf. All the Zaku 2 Master Grades are Kino. Fucking amazing. Um, I would have suggested the some RE100 kits, because mm. they're Master Grade size, but they're easy to build. Mm. Um, but a lot of those are scalped as fuck because they get like get printed like once. Like I know that two <laughs> of the master or two of the RE100 kits I have are worth around like eighty to ninety dollars right now. Mm. And they were I bought them for like thirty bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the thing. So like right now if I want to get a turn egg on them, which I, I don't mind getting, uh it's like a hundred bucks or so for the kit. The which, F90 is really good. Which is still like quite really a lot. But the thing is, I just really like the Turn A Gundam a lot. Like I've been, I've been watching more of the anime. I got about halfway through it now, and got it gets so fucking good, and also so mm -hmm. fucking confusing with some of the shit yes. that I told you. Like when it'll the ex it'll explain itself at the end. When, when the parent trap shit happened, I'm like, what the fuck? They just went along with this, and it made no sense. And and then like, e even like around episode twenty two, they're like, you know what? This is kind of a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> why do it in the first place? But um, it's, it's great, dude. But yeah, I was thinking of that either getting uh, the Master Grade Turney Gundam, or getting the Master Grade uh, Dunbine. Now, uh, Dunbine is an interesting series. Uh, Dunbine is is like. How do you even describe it, man? Um, because it it is mecha, but it also isn't to some people. I've yet to watch it and see the explanation of it. But Dunbine is basically like insects if insects were giant robots. I say it counts. <clears throat> I, I, no, it does because it's like it's like an exoskeleton. Like the exoskeleton is metal, and they've got yeah. fucking cockpits for pilots. Like it's it's a mecha show, right? <clears throat> It's just like weird. It's a weird mecha show. So, uh, the Dunbine, the, which is like the main, you know, the the main uh, mech, I guess. Um, it got two kits not too long ago. Uh, well, it got a reprint uh, high grade uh, Dunbine, which is widely known to be very, very, very bad out of the box, without a lot of user fixes. For example, like since it's an insect, right? It's got insect wings in the back, mm -hmm. and it's got a. Uh, you, you, it's it's like imagine this is the back of the dumbbine. It'll have like a hole right here and a hole right here for two wings, and then on the other side as well. <clears throat> as soon as you put one of the wings in, it'll start drooping downwards, and that's kind of bad. It doesn't get held up, which is a, yeah. a problem for you know kits. Uh, you can technically stick tissue paper in there, in 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 there, and then it'll just like hold it in place. It won't really be a problem, but it's a, again a user fix that shouldn't shouldn't be necessary. The other problem with the kit is that it doesn't stand up straight. It is too top heavy, and it'll just fall. Uh, it also has shit articulation. Uh, it will not hold up. It is it is not good. It is not a good kit, but it is very cheap. And if you like the Dunbine. And if you like the Dunbine anime, it's, you know, it's good in that regard, I guess. Uh, because you're getting a kid of a, of a, of a, of an anime that you like. And that's fine, right? <clears throat> but overall, like, the kit itself is not 100% great. Like, there are better kits out there, like the Master Grade Dunbine, which is essentially the Probably same thing. Rare as fuck, too. Just bigger. Yeah, the, the kit's from, like, the year 2000, like, literally. Oh yeah, those are those are expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it looks so cool. 
So I thought, fuck it, I can also get that if I really wanted to. Uh, or I could do both. Uh, I really want both. <laughs> if I'm yeah, honest. Yeah, I... I don't know, I don't... I don't have many kits left in my backlog anymore. Oh no, you've been building them all yeah. with me. I know. Mm. Fucking... There is one that I've been trying to get a hold of. Which but, one? uh, God knows how I'm gonna get a hold of it. Hold on. Mm hmm. Sorry, take a drink. <clears throat> I've been trying to get a hold of the, um... God, what's the fucking name of the design? God damn it, hold on. Uh... Um, the Zeta Plus A1 Master hmm. Grade. It is just the Master Grade Zeta, hmm. or it's just like a Zeta Gundam with slight design revival, and it's like Amro's custom. I bought one for uh, my friend for like Christmas one year. I think it was like one of his first kids, and she I've always wanted to get my Master hands on Grade one. for their first kid. Well, one of them, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, they right. Use... I miss her, dude. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, master grades aren't that bad. It's just <clears> there's they're they take forever. High grades are just like you you build it. It's like oh, you see if you want to get in the hobby. Mm. Here, I will I will send you a picture with this data gun. It looks like. Uh, hold on. I fucking I fucking love it, but I've been trying to get my hands on one for a while. They're old. <clears throat> right again. So I am painting this right now as we speak. So, How are you? Yeah, like Congratulations. I'm, I'm doing all the. Well, I'm letting chat now. Uh, I'm doing all the bits that are going to be exposed in gunmetal right now. Uh, that way, I don't have to do it later. Because if I have to put this shit together and then paint it, that would that would be a nightmare. Oh yeah, actually, what I did with my IBO kits is I just only I only painted like the like mechanical stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like 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 the, the joints in between. I would have to find pictures of that kit somewhere. I don't know where they are. But I painted them in gold, so they would stand out. Hmm. Stop meowing at me. Shut up. I'm only doing, like, some of the exposed stuff. I, I'm not trying to go too deep into this, because, like, I am a perfectionist, so I will, like, paint everything. But I'll try to stop myself. Where is G4? I need G4. <clears throat> so this is oh, the only yeah. thing that G4. might take long about this stream. Shut up. Shut up, Stinky. I need you the first time. Your cat wants to leave now? No, he's just like meowing at me. He doesn't even want to leave, he's just like meowing at me. He wants attention? Because it's fucking early. I don't know. I'm petting with my foot. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck LP would want. Food? No, we already gave him his crunchies. <laughs> Uh, all right. If he wants any more than that, he can go to fucking hell. I'll do the top part in a bit. Let's start with this. <clears throat> it's so rude, Shane. I don't care. He's Got just right he's just your beast of burden. Literally, he's not even a he's not even a good beast of burden. He's well, literally just emotional a burden. burden. Yeah, he's, he's not exactly fucking carrying my my soot to the next village. No, he's just carrying you on through life. Barely. <laughs> Barely? <laughs> okay, that sounds more like an issue at that point. An issue? Yeah. Cashew? No. Like, issue. Yes. <laughs> That's what you sound like. Is Shut it? Up. Is Shut it? up. Yeah, yeah, cope. Shut the fuck up your mouth. Yeah, yeah, just cope. I'm not coping. Yeah, keep coping. I'm not fucking coping. Okay. I thought someone coping would say. I'm gonna find mm. where you live. I'm gonna give you a handshake. <laughs> okay. They were gonna say something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's usually that's usually where your train of thought will go. <laughs> yeah, Yours <generally>. specifically. <laughs> yeah, generally. Mm. Um Where's my fucking G runner, dude? Where, where? What the fuck is up, dude? Where's my fucking G runner, dude? Where my, where are my G homies at, bro? Where's my fucking G homies at, bro? Holy any, fuck. any G runners in chat right now? <laughs> any G units in chat? 
Yeah. <laughs> G unit specifically. G unit. G stands for Gundam. Yeah. <clears throat> if it if it wasn't obvious, by the way. Shut the fuck up. I'm only I'm allowed I, to I am, I am my clarifying. Jokes. Only I'm allowed <clears throat> to explain my joke. Fifty? Oh uh, hell yeah, dude. Whole fifty G units. Fifty G units right now. Yeah, sounds got, like a fucking sounds like a currency in Fantasy Star Online. <laughs> we got fifty G's in chat right now. I have fifty G units. Hmm. Well, that's not going to be enough for this payment. You want to get this cargo? I need at least a hundred G units. So what we agreed upon, man. <laughs> Look, pal. You told me fifty would cut it. Well, now it's not. What do you want to do about it, bitch? Last time we spoke, you told me 50 <laughs> junior units was enough. And now yeah. you're rescinding that offer? Yeah. Look, I'm not looking for anything else other than my 50 G units. If you can't bring me back, I'm gonna fucking shake you down for them. You either take the 50 G units or we bounce. We got other buyers who want this cargo. You're not the only fish in this star ocean. It's just, it's just like, it's just like Sanrio plushies. <laughs> <laughs> Limited edition from a you time a, from a time past, a, a time long since gone. Yeah, and you're really and you're really giving this up. You can't afford fifty units. I see how you travel in your your shitty car, your shitty space car. You can afford it. You mean my shit? You can. Your your space Corolla. <laughs> uh, actually, it's a space super. Okay. Ten's not enough. Yeah, ten's not ten enough. Not enough. Come on, Trigon. We need we need fifty G units. Do you know how you know how fucking hard I worked to get these G units out? You know, you know how many E girls we had to kill to fucking get these? These Sanrio plushies. The, these San these limited edition Sanrio plushies that we had to like fight off of like fucking like. What are they called? Scavengers? Scavengers? Yeah, yeah. like e-girl, like scavengers. E-girl scavs? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, sca e-girl scavs. They, they, they each had their own treasured, like, Sanrio, like, plush. And we had to, like, shake them down for them. You have no idea what I had to do to get this pom pom pudding. Alright? <laughs> The blood I have spilled. The blood I have spilled. Pum pum pum. The blood I will continue to spill. You don't underestimate my abilities. You either yeah, you want this pum 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 or you don't fucking get shit. Okay. Yeah, you better go get that. Better go get it. Uh, Alright, let's do POV, this. One. POV, your uncle's trying to sell you his Xbox. <laughs> I'm not buying crack with this money. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm watching you. Yo, this stream got weird for anyone that isn't like a regular viewer. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little sick, so my voice is like gravelly. Like imagine you're like, oh cool, I, I'm gonna watch a little, a quick little Barbados like building stream, and it's like, why are they talking about I'm not, like, I'm not Sanrio you down for the Sanrio. <laughs> why are they talking about the black market of Sanrio black plushies? <laughs> Sanrio plushies. <laughs> Look, I got that little alligator friend. You know the one, the one that was never released. Yeah, oh, I got one. It's a bootleg, but it's better than nothing. Look, this is the only official merchandise you're getting. This is the closest thing to official merchandise. It's this ancient bootleg from a time, time bygone, from bygone Look times. Here, I have this Garfield phone. I'm gonna fucking sell it to you. This Garfield phone is fucking vintage. All right. Mm -hmm. You either buy it or you fucking leave. You're not gonna get a better deal from anyone else. Mm -hmm. Scum. Believe, Buy my Garfield phone. You believe kids nowadays? They just want everything handed to them on the silver platter. Everyone, hmm. everything handed to them on a silver Garfield themed platter. Yeah, they gotta pay for the party platter. 
You gotta, you gotta pay your phone bill, or else your <laughs> Freddy Freaker's gonna fucking come after you. Freddy Freaker. Yee. One nine nine oh four nine no freak. I forget no. that. I, I had it, but I don't remember it. Because last time we did that bit was like a week ago. Yeah. That is correct. This this paint job is coming out kind of like ass. I'll show you what a job looks like. <laughs> Goes to work. <laughs> true. True. That's true. Don't don't mock me. I'm going to work now. Please. Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> what do you mean you ain't touching touching Garfield? You fucking no, crazy, bro? Garfield, Garfield merch, Garfield merch in this in this black market. In this hot. day and age, I want to see you try to find a Garfield phone, mint condition. Go Works ahead. Everything. Go ahead. I'll wait. I have a Heathcliff comic if that's what you're more in, if more that's what you're into. But I'm not backing down on this Garfield phone. Do you like Heathcliff? The funny little orange cat that's not Garfield. The bootleg Garfield? Eh, he's okay. The better Garfield. Yeah, them's fighting Garfield, words, but you know. Garfield doesn't have a meat tank. Heathcliff does. <laughs> Heathcliff has that. a band. Garfield doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Garfield doesn't have a band. I'm pretty sure Garfield had a band, or at least in the Garfield TV show. Garfield does not have a fucking band. In the TV show, I'm pretty sure there was an episode where he just had to get a band. If you show me a Garfield band, I will show you that my brain splatter on the wall. <laughs> I can't handle that level of fucking controversy. <clears throat> I mean, if Sonic had a band, why can't Garfield have one? That's fucking false. <clears throat> you don't know about Sonic's band? With Vector the fucking crocodile in it? Literally the last thing I ever want to hear for out of your mouth is <clears throat> Sonic's band. And that's when he, uh, that's when he was dating Madonna, his girlfriend. Why would he do that? Because that, because it was the fucking '90s and anthropomorphic animals having human girlfriends was like the thing, for some reason. You know, you know, Madonna was never good for it. Well, I mean, she did cause the downfall of Sonic Youth. You know, Sonic's band. Sonic Youth. <laughs> that was way too easy. I'm not gonna give you that one. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of that, of that one. Uh, before when I didn't know um, who Sonic Youth was, when I was like a wee 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 lad, uh, and I was on the equivalent of Napster and LimeWire at the time, <clears throat> I was like, "Who the fuck is Sonic Youth?" And I seriously thought they were like a Sonic like music cover band. And then you got, then you listen to fucking Wild Thing, and you're like, "Holy shit!" I'm like, man, cool I, I, I'm too. like, you know what? Let me check out some of their songs. I can't remember what the fuck it was. I don't know what song I got, but it was, it must have been one of the like generic like track six that no one listens to from an album and i was like man this sucks i have i have uh sonic youth's first ep or lp i guess on vinyl it's really cool <laughs> nerd i like it i like mm. i can my mm. vinyl collection is pretty sick i don't have many mm. that i care about but i have uh king gizzard and the lizard wizard mm. uh i have like two of their albums i have a live album and not on infinity i have uh the dead kennedy's god what, 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 what album mm. Uh, it's the one with the starving African child on it. I uh, don't remember. Uh, I don't remember either. Um, I don't here, I'll, I'll just go read them off. I love DK. Donkey Kong? Leave yeah. my room, mm. cousin. Here, let me read them off. I have... Yeah, I have the Misfits. Like, mm -hmm. basically best of collection because their LPs fucking blow, but their singles are amazing. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh, what else? I have a lot of class. Oh, I have, um... Machine Gun Etiquette by The Damned. One of, my, mm. one of my favorite albums of all time. Very good music. <clears throat> I, I don't think I told you this. I think I was gonna I was gonna tell you this before we started streaming, but I fucking forgot. But I had a I had a dream that we were doing this stream specifically. Mm -hmm. And I asked you, Hey Shane, do you know the song Bird is the Word by the Trash Mouths? The and Trash Mouths? <laughs> I forgot their okay. name. What was that their name? Uh, the B fifty twos. No, no it fucking yeah, isn't. It was... Yeah. It is. No, it fucking isn't. Yeah, it is. No, no, no. It is not the B fifty twos. The B fifty two. They're the ones that sang uh, "Rock Lobster." 
What was the song you said? The bird is the word. Oh fuck! Hold on. No, no you're right. No, I, you're I, was confusing confusing, me. I was confusing the two songs, right? You hold on. <laughs> Fucking dipshit. Now, now I need to make sure. No, it's the trash bin, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, the trash bin. There we go. I said trash mouths. I don't know why. <clears throat> But yeah, um, so I was like, uh, I asked you, like in the stream, I was like, Shane, do you know the song Bird is the Word by the Trash Mount, uh, Trashman? And you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Shane, no. you vapid whore, you know, <laughs> you know this fucking song. And you're like, what song? <laughs> the Bird is the Word. What's the word? <laughs> you know the fucking song. You're like, no. No, I don't know it. <laughs> That's was, really fucking funny. And I was like, Shane, you you fucking know that the bird is the word. <laughs> the bird is the word. And you're like, no. 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 And then I started saying, how do you not know who the trash men are when all you listen to is like shit no one listens to, like a bunch of fucking like proto-punk <laughs> garbage. And you're like, just because I listen to proto-punk like, doesn't mean I'll know all these fucking bands. Who the fuck are the trash men? Why is this a conversation we actually have? Because it's something that we would probably have. And the shitty thing is... That is, that is so funny. And I, like, the shitty thing is, like, I was like, come on, Shane, you fucking know this song. Oh and you're God. like, what word? I'm like, you know the word. <laughs> Jesus. And th and then you started fucking singing it like out of nowhere. <laughs> You're like, I'm a bird, bird. <laughs> like you just jumped in, and I'm like, you fucking cunt! I know you knew. I know you knew the song, <laughs> and you were just. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was like, are you fucking serious? And you, and you were like, don't you know about the word? <laughs> About the bird. Are you sure this isn't? Are you sure this isn't a real conversation? We no, had? this has not happened. But that well, it, it happened in my dreams. <laughs> so it, unless I'm a prophet, and I can look into <laughs> other dimensions, then yes, this was a conversation we technically had in another world, in another that timeline, so funny. <laughs> while building a fucking Gundam Barbados. Rock Lobster and Bird is the Word are almost the same song. No, they're not. <laughs> they're like basically just like they're no basically no they're fucking yeah. not yeah there one's is. about finding a rocks uh, one's about finding a lobster by the rocks bum, at a bum, beach bum, party bum, bum, and the bum, other bum, one bum, is bum, about bum, bum. about fucking drunk adults uh having a seizure and singing about it based which is you know a lot of people would describe like nirvana's music style to be like that Something hmm. in my ass. Mm. Or whatever hmm. that Batman song is. I don't know, dude. I don't listen to Nirvana. I listen to like normal fan. music. I actually like I like Nirvana's when whenever, whenever they did more punk music, but I'm not a big fan of grunge as a genre. <clears throat> yeah, no, grunge is uh, the bane of my existence. I fucking detest that shit. It's funny because <clears throat> I love shoegaze, but I hate grunge. Hmm. <clears throat> And shoegaze funny? is just grunge, but it's washed out like really hard. <laughs> like it's just like very ambient. Mm. I love shoegaze. I love. I don't like shoegaze. Slow is shoegaze. just like I good music, and then we have, and then we've got like fucking Nirvana, which is like garbage. I I love fast shoegaze, like shit that like. That's an oxymoron. Shane, are... shut your poor mouth. No, it's not. I can show you bands that are fast shoegaze. That is an oxymoron. So is your mm. mom. Yeah. Um. That, that's, not, owned. that's just stating a fact that's not owning me, dude. I did own you. No. Look at this, look at this arm. <clears throat> but you're getting close. To being a fifth arms. done. I have two arms. Oh, never mind. You are a fifth done. These are big ass arms. I still can't believe it, though. <laughs> you literally played out, like, not knowing what the fuck the bird is the word was for, like, it, like for 10 minutes. Like in the stream, I that really does sound like something I would actually do. I could hear myself like, mumbling, like Shane, you fucking imbecile. <laughs> you know 
You know what the word. You know the word. That would, that would be like asking me if I knew what free bird was. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, hold on. This song's been playing for fucking 30 minutes. I'm gonna skip it. Oh shit, it has been. Wow. Alright, Beyond mm -hmm. the Canyon's a good one. Yeah. yeah. So again, we're listening to the Fallout 1 and 2 soundtrack. It just so happens that the only extended versions of the song we could songs we could find were an hour long. <laughs> so we gotta suffer through this. Uh, After this, I'm probably gonna end up playing more from Fallout New Vegas. I've been thinking about doing like a fucking no holds barred like negative karma build for the Legion, where instead of like solving problems, so I can just go to Repcon and I just fucking shoot everyone in the head that speaks. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played a pure evil character before, mm. uh, which is you know. I wanted to do that because no hard. one plays them. No one plays them because they're afraid of their of the decisions that they make. They're like, no, I want to no, be a good like person. No one plays them because you might get gated from five quests because you killed an NPC that you shouldn't have. Because <laughs> all New Vegas will do that to you. You'll walk to someone who was named character is like, hello, what's your name? And you fucking blast them in the head. and You lose like five quests. That are tied to them <laughs> so it's so you, you can do it they will allow you to do it but like it, it, it will fuck you up that's why i prefer new vegas over three because new, new vegas or new vegas doesn't have any in, like invincible fucking bullshit like that no shit npcs that you can't kill yeah well i mean it's maybe one or two but like you can you hardly meet any of them mm. like, you can pretty much kill anyone you want and like it, it'll mm. just like it'll the game will serve you the consequences no repercussions it's whatever the guy mm. that's why i love morrowind actually as soon as we started talking about New Vegas, we lost seven or three followers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, of course we did. So I love uh, Morrowind, because Morrowind doesn't also gate you from killing random people. Mm. But it'll just tell you, like, the world's fucked. You're never going to beat this game. Reset or do you, you just keep going. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the game where it's like, oh, the, the thing of time has been severed the, or whatever. The, the threat of prophecy has been severed or something. Like, it's a great game. I love Morrowind. Do you wish to continue? Do you wish to I reset mean, or proceed in this doomed timeline? Like, mm. Okay, so like this is gonna be like a, a super this is gonna be a super hot take like literally boiling hot take I objectively think Morrowind's combat and melee combat is uh, like actually 700% better than whatever Skyrim and Oblivion's ever done Dude anything any fucking combat system is infinitely better than whatever the fuck Skyrim see, was doing People don't like mm. the Morrowind's combat because you can see the model collide with the enemy and you won't hit but they don't realize that they're basing that the game is just 3D daggerfall, and every hit is a hit chance, like a, yeah, a dice a roll. roll. Yeah. So and people will like people will be like, yeah, I want to do a, like a I want to do a two hand axe guy, right? And you know, you make a melee build, and you grab like the first weapon you see, which is like a dagger, and you're surprised why you can't hit anybody with a dagger, even though you're not proficient in daggers. <clears throat> it's like yeah. So then I mean, you get like quit after 30 minutes after trying to kill a mud crab because you're upset that the, the model doesn't hit, collide with the fucking. I will uh, say it is kind of bullshit that stuff like that isn't like I get it because again old school D&D right that's what that's what that were the rules back then for some fucking reason like if you weren't proficient with a knife you couldn't really use a knife to kill someone properly like you would like you could try to fight someone with a knife right but you would be better mm -hmm. if you're if you're proficient with a longsword then you know you'd be better with your longsword right I get it I fucking get it realistically it doesn't make sense though uh no it's, realistically no, it's fucking it stupid but like this game, Morrowind mm -hmm. was trying to be a classic RPG that happened to be in 3D yeah, space. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, that's what like, I, I like about it, was, it. If it was literally just Daggerfall graphics, but it was Morrowind, so it would be like 2D and you kind of move around in a 3D space like it was like Doom or something, hmm. like people wouldn't have minded because then it would be like, it would have been like one of those classic dungeon RPGs where like you just walk around and you stab shit and like, you know, you have hit chances and whatever. Well, because it was I 3D. Think, I legitimately believe that Morrowind's combat could be fixed by adding the dice rolls or adding flavor text during combat. Probably. Like, in the bottom corner or something, have, like, you swung and miss. Or, yep. like, the, your yep. opponent has dodged your attack. Or, you like, you cleave into the enemy and, like, the blood splatters on your blade or something. Like, something like flavor text would have added, would have yep. made the combat feel much more, like, impactful because you wouldn't be like, oh, the, it's swinging and missing. You would, It would be like you'd be able to read it since you're just kind of standing there and like hitting anyways. I don't know. Yeah, you, you literally just stand in place, you swing, and then you just see like your sword go through them or your sword yeah, not well, do yeah. shit. And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I think Morrowind gets a lot of heat for its combat when it shouldn't because the combat's probably one of the mm -hmm. better thought out aspects of Morrowind. I think it started getting that heat more recently. Great, like back then, huh? people people probably fucking praise that game. I don't think, I, I, think, I think people care like more about it now. Oh, people or, loved Morrowind when it came out. It was like yeah. it's like why Bethesda even got the money to make Oblivion. 
Yeah, exactly. Like, it, it's a good fucking game. It's just people, like, nowadays, unfortunately, cannot adapt to, like, old school mechanics. And it's not, like, old school in, like, a detrimental, like, sense. It, it's mm -hmm. like saying, like, oh, old school Shin Megami Tensei is shit because you, you don't like dungeon crawlers. Well, I love dungeon crawlers. When it's like, bro, it's, it's, it's a dungeon crawler. Like, if you don't like it, then sure, fuck it. You don't like it, but it, that doesn't make the game shit. <clears throat> you not no, liking I mean, something doesn't yeah. make it shit. Pretty much. All right, hold on. So this goes here in the front. All right. So again, the only reason why we're, why we're taking so fucking long with this is because so far, I've only I've only cut out four parts, five and two polycaps, five uh, three polycaps. Uh, but that's because I've been painting this shit. As you can see, it's like shiny and metallic now, right? Which is like really fucking neat. This is gonna look nice once I put it all together. So again, it's it's taking a little bit, but that's not bad. Like we'll we'll take our time with this. <clears throat> I, I I don't know. I just prefer. I don't always prefer. Like mm -hmm. I love first person shooters. Mm -hmm. I literally I forgot about the boomer shooter bundle on the humble bundle until five minutes before it ended, and I snatched that shit for twelve bucks. Mm -hmm. I got some of the best boomer shooters that have been made in the recent years. I got fucking dusk, Karat, ultra kill, uh, mm -hmm. ion fury. Fucking oh, a medieval. Huh? No, those are fucking great. No, that's what I'm saying. Like all, like all those games are great. I have twelve bucks, and then like they gave me a coupon for for fucking Ultra Kill, which I've been trying to play for a while, and I got I just paid fifteen bucks for Ultra Kill. And I was like, these are some of the, my the most fun fucking games I ever played. Hmm. But like sometimes I just don't want to worry about like real time combat, or like sometimes I want to hmm. like engage with the story more hmm. yeah. than worry about fucking uh, worry. Worry? Yeah, worry about what, fucking what, what are you, fucking Canadian? The fuck Anyways. kind of a sentence was that, Shane? Uh, Why would you mom. pronounce worry like that? Like a, a fucking Canadian. How do you pronounce it? it worry. And you were like, say worry. You, you were like, worry? Like like a oh, fucking, like a fucking Canuck? Can I say that yeah, word? I Can I say that word? Can Can I... is not a racial, it's not a slur. <laughs> are you sure? Worry. I'm 100% sure it's not Are you slur. sure the moose people will not get mad? Fuck the moose people. I don't give a fuck about what they're <laughs> worrying about. Uh, all right. So here's the here's the torso. You can kind of you can kind of see it a little better. It is, is that all. A slur? Can I say that? <laughs> can, I, can I call them Canucks? Uh, uh, no. Here you, go. You, you can see how like shiny it is compared to say just like the base like plastic. No. Like here's just the the base like gray. And then here you have oh, like the metallic uh, sheen to it, which is much, much, much better. I fucking love this color. This fucking marker, this fucking paint is incredible. Like it looks so fucking good. The only shitty thing about this is that if you want to get this marker, you cannot buy it separately. You have to buy a basic uh, Gundam marker kit, one of these because this is the exclusive color that comes with it. You can buy uh, gunmetal paint, but from another brand. But it's it's just like, it's so good. I have it's a so billion different good. paints that look like that in different colors. Oh yeah, for sure. I have, I'm pretty I sure. have a paints that look just like that, but they're red or amber mm -hmm. or like gold, which is my personal favorite. I love the color gold. I my, When I did my, my full bust of the Sazabi, Mm -hmm. I did uh, all the accent painting in silver or gold, and the, it all it looks fucking great. Mm -hmm. That paint, that don't buy the Sazui bust. That kit, even though I got it for like a hundred bucks, that kit is a fucking nightmare. Well, yeah, I, I, I saw the third party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> C six one. The amount of fucking issues that kit gave me. However, the end product is um, amazing. It is some of the coolest shit you'll ever see. The inner frame stuff, all the extra like pipe detailing, it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it sucks. I hate it. Mm. It's a great display piece, though. B27. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, it is really nice. <clears throat> it is super fucking nice. Oh. <clears throat> that and yeah. Deep Striker. I love my Deep Striker. <clears throat> yeah, there, there's uh, there's many, like, uh, different types of uh, ways you can get uh, gun metal. Um, like I said, if you want to have the marker specifically, you have to get it from, uh, this, like, basic model kit, uh, this marker kit. Otherwise, there's plenty of other, like, ways you can have a uh, gunmetal paint. Hmm. But it's just, like, I really love the way it looks. 
So getting the shitty like high grade Barbados into like I I'm giving it all the detail that you would I guess if you're gonna like put love and care into a, a fucking uh, model kit. <clears throat> Otherwise I'd be skipping all this and we would just stick to like the matte uh, coating for it. Hmm. Here, uh, now I can see. I open my curtains and pull my blinds out. <clears throat> now I can see a little bit more. Just put on glasses, bro. Come on. I have glasses. Just the, this is black plastic. <laughs> like I can't read any of the numbers on here unless I tilt them the way right. <laughs> uh, I think nowadays, yeah, getting like um, a gunmetal marker might be easier compared to like. I don't know, 2011 or not 2011, like 2022, 2021 uh, or 2020. I know there's a um, a really good aftermarket um, like model kit uh, Gundam maker or sorry, after kit aftermarket model kit marker maker hmm, that does like um, a very nice like metallic uh, like chrome and gold marker. Uh, Zaku Aurelius did a review of it some time ago. I was like, oh shit, that looks really nice. So we did an entire RX-78 in it. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Trying to find the 12 runner on here. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you could like Found it. use paint or something to go over the numbers on that runner so you can find them easily. You also just cut them all off at once. You could, you could, but this is a... Uh, what was the fucking brand? Kotobukiya. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so good luck with that. <clears throat> Five minutes ago, you're like, "Where the fuck is this? Where the fuck is that?" Yeah, that's my life. Yeah. Hmm. I realize there's so much paint on my fucking on my cutting mat. Oh, God. Scrape this shit off. This is a nightmare. I don't know if you can see. You can barely see that. This looks like a pale banana yellow, but it's not really uh that color. Uh, but here. Is this bit of fucking plastic? I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna cut this out. Hmm. I mean, I can try with this, but it's gonna be. Yeah, there we go. All right, that did it. Hmm. Three. Should we switch the track now? It's about fifteen Yeah, actually, I was about to, to say. Um. <clears throat> all right. So, City of the Dead. This shouldn't. This shouldn't be too bad. It's, it's on Necropolis too. is theme. Yeah, I love Necropolis. It's one of the coolest uh, areas in any fucking. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, where the any... super mutants are at? Yeah. Yeah. Fallout really fucked up super. Fallout three fucked up super mutants mm. so bad, dude. Yeah, big time. Fucking. Um... Let's take the most nuanced and interesting like faction in the game and just turn them into fucking literally orcs. Orcs. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Um, it, it's a shame, sucks, dude. It's a fucking shame, dude. Because like, imagine like the centaurs from like Fallout three. Imagine if those things like spoke normally. That's what yeah. I. That's what super mutants should have been. Just like the centaurs, for example, uh, instead of just having giant green men. The green. I mean, it could have been interesting if they did something else with it, but like not with super mutants, but with like a different race of beings. Yeah. Since, you know, hmm. it's fucking big. It's a big world. Like, why do we have to have the same eight different things in this hmm. in this universe? Yeah, this thing uh, I will eventually uh, code if you're referring to, to this specific kit. Um, yeah, like I'm just waiting. Like I'm building it now. Got to give it a, uh, a matte coat. And then from there, we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna weather this shit later on. Maybe next week, uh, for sure. <clears throat> uh, what, what was the thing that you suggested doing? Where you use a uh, black acrylic paint and then you wipe it off. Oh, black washing. Yeah, black washing. There we go. <clears throat> uh, Try oh to yeah. Find out how to... yeah. Yeah, yeah. For the hip parts of my Shinanji, uh to chrome and then make them red. Yeah. Sounds cool as fuck, actually. Hmm, I don't know. Um, eventually, when I get um, when I get some metallic paints, I really want to paint the side bastard that we built some time ago. That will be a lot of fucking fun having that in the in metallic, uh, like metallic silvers and shit. God, I can't wait. Okay, now this goes how? So with the power, and then this goes back here. Seems. Ah, oh, there we go. So like that. Hmm. And then we place the blue on top here, which will hold it in place. Ah. Okay. What if we do it backwards? Hmm. 
Hmm. One. One then. There we go. Hmm. No. My fucking. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I basically started doing. So like with with the kits that I started building, I just had clean builds. I, I originally I was just gonna gloss coat them, and then that's it. But then I'm like, you know what? I should go further, because like they do look nice once they're built, but they can look nicer. And usually, whenever I see people try to weather, for some reason, I don't know if you've noticed this, but sometimes it looks like shit. It's because you if you over weather, it looks bad. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's like. Like, just try to, like, so I've seen some really nice ones where they add, like, just rust patterns every now and again. Uh, like, it looks nice. But then some people, like, just make the kit look like shit for some reason. Which is really hard to do. It's really hard to make a kit look like shit. Uh, with weathering. Yeah, people find no, a way to do it. That was extremely easy to make no, it look like shit. No, it's, like, very hard. Because you got full no, control uh, of the weathering. No, no, it's extremely easy to make your kit look like fucking piss when you're weathering. It's it, weathering is one of the hardest things to do consistently because you have to you have to like make sure that like everything's evened out. No, it's extremely hard to weather. I mean, you can do easy techniques to make it look better, Don't but if you're like dream, going Shane. down the road of like rust and everything, it's super hard. Don't crush my dream, Shane. No, it's very hard. Your first kit's gonna look like fucking hot piss because mine was. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure it doesn't. <laughs> no, it will. I promise I, you. It I, will. I'm going to make sure it does not. My first weathered mm. kit looked like fucking garbage, dude. It looks terrible. Like I know I go, I know I bought this Barbados as a fucking guinea pig for that, but I'm gonna make sure that it is done properly. I mean, it, it, the proper techniques take. Time. Believe it. Like when people do paint chipping and then they do like way way too much paint chipping, or like the rust turns out just like not as good because there's not like a texture to it. I don't know. It's mm. there's a lot of things that can go wrong when you weather. And people will weather without like thinking about actual like I when I weather, generally I I don't have to worry about it now. But I had a I took a bunch of pictures of a, of um uh what's it called? I took bunch of a bunch of pictures of shit like uh old trucks and yeah. stuff like that. It's where... almost as if you should probably mimic, you know, rusty things IRL. Yeah. In order to get good weathering patterns. <laughs> Well, and then it's and then it's still like up to like technique really or like knowing when to not keep continue weathering because you can it's so easy to keep just doing it until it looks terrible. Oh shit, professor, like, you right. I think the I think. Hmm. Hold on, I keep putting this thing on backwards. God damn it. Am I gonna need the head at all for anything right now? No. No, we can pass. All right, let's start building the arms. All right, here come a bunch of joints that I'm gonna have to paint. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. Are the links leaves? okay? Uh, what do you mean by links? Oh, like sending like links through chat. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, if you space them out, otherwise it'll get blocked immediately. Hmm. Let's see. Let's uh, for the head. Uh, K1. Here we go. Hmm. Uh, 7, 12, and 6. <clears throat> so, 7 is right here. K4. Hmm. Oh, fuck. The K is the, the clear one. It's H. Hmm. Nope. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, this K. Where's K music intensifies? Literally. Where are you? Where's the K? Where are you? Where's the cherry? It's a purple one. Yeah, you can show up what you were working on if you want. <clears throat> Just like I said, uh, you get, you're gonna have to break up the link. Hmm. <clears throat> like the most intense fucking music for hmm like building like cutting this shit out i know hmm. like inception like the most the most nothing kit getting like 
Yeah. Outrageous like music. Hmm. Uh, what do you mean by nothing? Um. Well, uh, nothing. I, I mean, I mean the, the Gundam Barbados. You know, it's it's probably the strongest Gundam of, of all time. Yeah, that's fucking right. Mm. That's why. That's why in Gundam Evolution, it's gonna be the most OP. Um, it's gonna be the most actually OP, OP. In uh, in like Maxi Boost. In, in Maxi Boost, there's some people out there that can make the Barbados literally fucking obliterate your shit without a blink. It is scary. It's so fucking scary, dude. Yeah, like okay. you're just running around like you're running around like your Zeta Gundam or whatever, and then a fucking Barbados mm -hmm. main comes out. Holy shit! Literally fucking run for the hills, cause that dude will speed boost your shit in, dude. But then the GM dude, sniper comes terrifying. out of nowhere. No, because they balanced the they balanced the Barbados for for maxi boost. They balanced it. Are you sure they balanced you know, like, it? Like, like it's not gonna get tanked by a beam rifle, I don't think. But they're fuck. It's fast and its melee combos are ridiculous. Nice. That shit will knock you out. I guess they they had to increase you know the level to appease to the fanboys. No, it's it's, <clears throat> it's so that like I mean yeah I guess but like the mainline it's, it's continuity not. Gundam it, they take liberties for a fighting game. But well, that's why. Because otherwise, I think we'll get it shit rocked on. I by mean, yeah, literally, I mean, by literally game anything. Game <laughs> in, a, in a fighting game, like Gundam fighting game, dude, nah, the Barbados is, is terrifying to fight against. I never want to fight against the Barbados main in Maxi Boost. Or even huh. versus online, to be, or like like Gundam versus that. That game's fucking scary, too. I mean, when a dude gets like super sweaty about it, yeah, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, it's a fighting game. That's all they do. Yeah, they just get sweaty. Maxi Boost is so good. I, I love Maxi Boost. It's so hard I've, to get good in that game, though. I've yet to play it. What console was it for? PS4, I think. Uh, was that the free-to-play one? No, that's that's Gundam Battle Operations. That one is that one's grounded combat. Barbados is fucked in that one. No, there's no Barbados. It's only UC. That's why. That's why he's fucked. The second the, it, yeah. they they introduce they introduce the Barbados bam beam weapon, <laughs> get owned. <laughs> Dude, the, the 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 fucking gym snipers, on like, and low level like low tier fights and fucking. Mm -hmm. Uh, battle operations will rock your shit, dude. If they can hit on you, they you can get you just piss your ass goodbye, dude. You will lose your health very you, fast. You get fucking obliteratomized. You you do like God. It, it's a fucking sniper, bro. Yeah, it's gonna fucking kill you. There's there's many. I, I barely fought in like the upper range of fights in that game very recently because every time I do, everyone has like these crazy ace suits, and I'm just running around with my like fucking psycho zock, and I'm like, I have little finger beams. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bunch of ace suits, but all my ace suits are meant for space because I love space combat in that game. Mm. And like my ground combat is very lacking in suits. Okay, good. <clears throat> I mean, I just like it's literally a, in the higher levels. It's, it's literally a matter of like if you have an ace suit and if you know the combat meta meta enough. Is the ground unit from uh, Eighth MS team in it? I mean, yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's the meta. It it has its no, it's not. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> the meta is like melee combat combos. So it's like mm -hmm. it's like literally like like cancel like it's like do do cancel roll out and then do like do cancel then dodge and then you fire at the person while they're on the ground recovering. So ripping your like, arm you out mid combat range. is not a fucking option. Huh? So ripping your arm off mid combat is not a fucking option. I wish. Actually, if you want me to. I can, mm. I can, like, after the stream, I can stream it to you and show you what the combat's like. It's been a while since I played it, but I love that game. It's very I love, fun. I love how that's your, like, like, that's how you, like, pitch it to me instead of just being like, I can send you a YouTube video. No, because, like, yeah, the, like I'll the YouTube show videos you. will make it. The, the YouTube videos are a little, like, uh, like, they'll just be focused on, like, the combat. Not, like, I can just pull it up right now. It's, but I'm not going to because we're in the middle of the stream. Yeah, later on. I'm also trying to build these legs. Mm hmm. Oh my god, so many, like, dark colored pieces. You it's... chose this path. My brother and Gunplay. My brother and chose... Gunplay, you literally chose the kit. I think the funniest shit in the world is that when Elden Ring came out, our, our vernacular had just switched to 13th century, like, 13th century, like, this is. <clears throat> well, I don't know about you. No, that, that's, that's, my, that's been my vernacular for fucking ages. 
That's also because you're pretentious dickwad. That's because that's the fucking, like, centuries that I'm studying to teach other people, like, about... It's because you're maybe, pretentious maybe dickwad. That, maybe that's why, Shane. Maybe that's so fucking why. Dickwad. Maybe you were all just fucking uneducated fucking plebeians that never chose to, like, pick up a fucking book in your fucking life and maybe read about the experiences of others through different time periods to maybe why learn a little that? bit about that instead of repeating history for the past 700 years. Ever thought about that? It really does sound like you don't fucking get bitches. It the fuck? No maidens. That, that's that's like the stupidest fucking like comeback out of all that, dude. It's not stupid because you have no bitches. Says who? It says me. A bitchless like fucking plebeian. All right, man. Yeah. You take one to no one. Uh, I know you. Yeah. Yeah. I can see one. You see one with my eyes, my special eyes. Yeah, you just you're looking at yourself through the webcam. No. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Shut your whore mouth. I don't have a webcam. <clears throat> okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> Seventeen thousand people just left. As they should have. Mm, as they should through through this like marital spat. The power of the power of friendship. No one should sit through this. There's Literally, 21. everyone should sit <clears throat> through this though. True. True. That's true. Where the fuck is this in this piece? Again, this is not like one of the typical like uh, Gumpla building streams. It's just like us. At this point, it's just us fucking around. Well, I just try to get this kid done. Otherwise, we would have been doing this off stream and still doing the same thing. Uh. Hmm. What the fuck? Oh. Plus I-25. Oh, nah, that makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be like the only footage on the internet of someone building the fucking the Muvlev kit that you're building right now. You know, you're probably not even wrong about that. Yeah. This, these kits were discontinued. I only have this kit because my uh, my friend Onyx gave it to me. Yeah. Yeah, you already told that like, story I... on stream chain. Yeah. But it's the only, like, he gave it to me. He gave me a drawing of one of the his, one of his original drawings from mm. uh, the the game. Mm. And a, uh, God, what's the name? I'll, I have a little tank kit. I'll have to show you later. Hmm. Where's this fucking... Hmm. Alright, now I'm gonna swap the song. I'm super confused. It's been 15 minutes. Hmm. <clears throat> we can only doomer, doom, doom post for a while. For so doomer, long. Doomer post? <clears throat> yeah. Fucking, um... Like I told you, I, I I interacted with one of those posts that was like, uh, "Who here? Who here hates Mecca? Who here has actually watched Mecca?" Mm -hmm. And some person responded oh. to like my comments, being like, "Because uh, <clears throat> I mentioned, oh, like people who usually say that have only really like like the only people that I've interacted or every single person that I've interacted with that says they hate Mecca will always say that they love uh uh, Gu uh Guren Lagan. and I'm like, why? Like wh why do they right? And some person said, oh, well, well, to be fair, it is peak mecha. It's super robot. I'm and sure I'm like, and I'm like, what? It's like saying Harry Potter's peak fiction. <laughs> like, no, the fuck it's not. It's Harry like, Potter, dude. Like, how the fuck is, is, uh, a good and Lagan, uh, peak mecha? Like, in what aspect? It's very flashy. But other than that, I mean, it's like the story is mid. The story's pretty good. No, uh, no, it's pretty mid. It's like it's yeah. like generic as fuck, especially for the time. Like it doesn't it doesn't really break any new boundaries. You know, not a lot of shows do. No, I know I know not a lot of shows do, but like, even for the time, it was like what 2005 when it came out. Eight. I don't remember. It, it's been a while since I fucking even like cared about uh go, uh go down like on. <clears throat> But like it's it's just like to me to me it's a mid show. But it sure as fuck is not the epitome. It, it's not peak mecha. When you have shit like Getter, when you have shit like Ideon, when you have shit like Gundam, um, that easily outclass it. It's a, it's a different genre for sure. I mean, the fucking comparing comparing real robot to super <clears> robot is <throat> like fucking comparing apples to the grenade I have in my back pocket. Well, true. <clears throat> true. <laughs> like. Uh, like if you put Full Metal Panic 
at least the earlier seasons, next to like Gundam. Gundam, even though it's a real robot, literally is not a real robot. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way it's possible. Mm-hmm. But like, if you put it next to like a double OAD War in the Pocket, like absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, like fucking, like just like the, like well, my main point is that there's there's other like peak mecha out there. Like there's better mm-hmm. mecha out there than like Gurren Lagann. <clears throat> and this isn't really just like a matter of taste. It's just like objectively speaking. Like storytelling wise, animation wise, uh, thematically, like there's other se- like look look at look at the series that inspired uh, Gurren Lagann. That's peak mecha. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Like yeah, IBO yeah. inspired fucking Gurren Lagann, like hands down. Like 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 Gurren Lagann basically ripped off most of IBO. The greatest show in the world, the, IBO. The greatest Gundam, like, in the world. <clears throat> right next to Gundam Wing and Gundam Seed. Yeah. Basically? Basically? Yeah, pretty much. Can you believe that? Like, can you believe Gundam Lagan fucking ripped that off? Of all fucking things? Gundam mm. Seed does. Yeah. They ripped off that. the combining aspects of fucking Gundam Wing. Again, as I should. Does Gundam Wing even have combiners? No, they don't. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, I mean, I guess it, would, it wouldn't be as worse as, as the giving the Gundam literally like f- like mechanical feather wings. That that is still very. It looks cool, but it's it makes stupid. No sense. It's stupid. It makes no sense. It makes no fucking sense. It's like why? The movie mm. was like, wow, I'm fucking sad. I wish I could do Revolution right now. And everyone's like, all right, whatever. Yep, Did Kido ever wear a fucking suit? Like yeah. a space suit? Oh, no. No, he was always just fighting in a tank top, right? Yeah, because he was like, if I die, I die. Who cares? Which is, I mean, based, but... <laughs> I mean, sure. Okay, well, then, uh, yeah, that's pretty based. Like, that's why Char, that's why Char never wore a helmet. Because like, if I get shot in the cockpit, I'm dead no matter what. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Might as well, like, let my hair flow. Like, I'll wear my I'll wear my sports mask underneath my helmet. <laughs> That's what it is. The the mask he wears is, is a fucking uh, the mask he wears is from like a, a sport. I forget what sport it is, but he's wearing that 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 like that visor he has on his side. That's from like that's a mask he wear when he plays sports uh, or a certain sport. I mean, it's fucking. What the hell is the name he's of it? He's literally wearing like, he's wearing the equivalent mm-hmm. of like swimming goggles, but for like lacrosse. No, I was gonna mention that shitty sport from fucking Final Fantasy X. Oh, fucking Blitzball. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Alright, I'm gonna wait for these to dry. So I need 32 and 819, which I also need to paint. Hmm. Alright, where are you? Here we go. Hmm. God, I hate Final Fantasy X, man. It's it's got one of the worst fucking plots on the planet. I like it. Uh, it's 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 so fucking bad. <clears throat> There's twenty one. Putting this wrong way. I'm, I'm putting this on the wrong, wrong way. Uh... The wrong way. Oh, you like that squeaking of plastic? It's not yeah. me putting something on the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's yeah. good. It's squeaking. So these purple. These all these purple lines. Those mm. are all like separate parts. Yeah, color matching. Or color yeah, separation. The color... Color separation is very nice when it wants to be good. Whoa. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's just you. It's just like you undoing your zipper over and over. Like just like that's all it was for like two minutes. I'm not even wearing pants with a zipper on it. You're not even wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. It's even my pants. (laughs) What the fuck? I'm wearing shorts, I mean. That could have been seen as like TOS. What, like cloth? Like here's yeah. my shirt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's too. Uh, it's it's THT too hot for Twitch. If I if I can show my cleavage mm-hmm. on Twitch.com, I don't think it's TOS. Um, you you can show a silhouette of your cleavage. I was thinking it's just cloth. And, like, and, and, fucking... and a portion of it, but you cannot show like full full on cleavage. Like they will they will get mad. Like dudes, for some reason, cannot be topless on Twitch. Good. <clears throat> Which is like, well, yes, it's good, but also like a dying market. 
Your mom's a body marker. True. Where's True. G? Where's my G units at again? <laughs> Any G units left in chat? Probably not. Probably not after after some of these takes that we've been having. <laughs> these hot, fucking, blisteringly <clears throat> boiling takes. She. <clears throat> First of all, First that IBO is the best Gundam of all time when it's actually Gundam Wing. I mean, we know. We know. No. God, no. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, dude, I've been fucking, um, <clears throat> since I've been watching a uh, Turning Gundam, like, it, it had, like, one of the fucking most emotional scenes I'd ever fucking seen so far in, like, Gundam. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, this is, this show is so fucking good. Like, uh, they, they unearth a, a, G, a GM. Mm -hmm. And the fucker was fighting Zaku 2s with its bare hands. Yeah. Like, 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 uh, one of the Zaku's throws a grenade at it, and he dodges underneath, and then he fucking punches him with a shield hand. And as he punches him, the grenade explodes behind him. It looks so fucking rad. I'm like, man, this yeah. show is great. How come more people don't but, watch it? Because of the, the design of the suit. Everyone's yep. very surface level. Yep. <clears throat> and it's a shame because, goddamn, a lot of the designs in, uh, in, I almost said IBM, in, uh, wait, what the fuck is this? Uh, I got, hold on, I got fucking confused. Uh, right, so we got this shit, right? <clears throat> my dog, it's my dog sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm big dumb. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because the fucking design of the uh, the couple is so fucking good, man. The couple, oh, the couple, yeah, I love the couple. Yeah, it, it's so fucking cool. It's literally just a ball zaku, and I love it so much. It is so yeah, cool. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of Kapool kits, actually. I, I Send me, like, one. Like, the only one I can find right now, oh, shit, is the no-grade uh, from, like, the same, like, uh, turn gun, the one that I got. Mm. That's the only I'm one sure. I can fucking find. I will, I will have to look for it. I think they were making something. I don't entirely remember. It's hard yeah. to keep up with a lot of the fucking kits being released. Or kits that have been released. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I hope it's bothered just a little bit, just a little bit. <clears throat> nah, a little vomit won't ever hurt anybody, is that right? True, true. That's uh, flavor. Does add a flavor. <laughs> Not a good one, but a flavor. It is like, it's like onion. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah, no, but the, but the couple is so right fucking cool. Too. It's literally like a, it's it's a ball Zaku that has six or eight missile launchers in its chest, and when it runs, it does the like fucking Sonic run, and its arms flop around everywhere. <laughs> oh god, we're good. It's so cute. I, I love I love couples so much. That they're, they're they're honestly like peak, like peak design, in gun. Yeah, fucking. Did my uh? Did I don't remember his name? But the the, the mecha designer for for turn A really like. Yeah, he was he was known for doing wacky shit like that, and I'm glad he was able to do turn A. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Me too. It, it's so good. It's so fucking good. Uh, this is a warning, not to clip too deep, which is good. And then B26 and 24. <clears throat> B26 and 24. Let's get that ASMR clipping. Hmm. I like how this one makes me feel like I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> the song? Yeah. <laughs> I have it low enough, so I hear like a whisper and I turn my head around and I'm like, oh fuck. I guess that's what it, I guess that it, that is what it would be. Uh, I guess that it's I guess that's what it's like to be fucking schizophrenic. Um, yeah, except it's like it's like your own voice talking to you. <clears throat> you mean to tell me it's not other people? I mean, I guess you could perceive it as other people if you really wanted to. Um, um, maybe maybe I should not make those statements legal uh, like out loud for legal reasons. Is it legal? I don't know. It's been a while. 
<clears throat> no, I'm kidding. Fucking um, Chris Chan got sent to uh, a mental asylum finally. Oh, based. <laughs> they transfer them to a fucking from a from the all women's like prison to a fucking mental asylum. You know, mm. honestly, literally, that's where he should have been. Day one. For almost like the past twenty years. Yeah. He should have. He should have gotten fucking medical help for his like behavior problems. Ages for ago. Years. Yep. Literally ages ago. Yep. Behavioral therapy, like societal reconditioning, like even like his gender identity stuff is like that's like whatever. Because apparently a lot of autistic people, there's like a, it's like there's like a I can't remember but the study but it's like I, I, like I don't I, 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 I look I, I'm not gonna just so that I don't get in trouble with Twitch I'm gonna have to ask you to stop that. <laughs> that but yeah, one. fuck it. Uh, but I get you. I get what you mean. But like yeah, it's like that. Like there's like there's there's things that people could have done to fix like the fix this problem right from the fucking mm, beginning like ages ago yeah and nothing nothing happened shit's funny it's very funny to me it, it's it's just also just really fucking sad like uh oh well, <clears throat> yeah well it's because like one fucking girl whose dad's a fed fucking decided to turn his fucking brain into a nightmare mush world oh, fuck uh shit yeah that too <clears throat> what's worse for him is that uh uh, he, he's gonna miss the fucking Sonic 2 movie. Oh no. I bet he's gonna go ape in the fucking, like, <laughs> mental asylum. I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll be able to see it. I'm sure he forgot about it. No. No, 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 he, he did not forget about that movie. You sure? Uh, he doesn't forget. The, 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 the Great Convergence happened? I, I, sometimes I wish it fucking did. <laughs> sometimes I really wish it did. You want our god, Chris just, just, to, just to see what happens. Yeah, yeah, just for, just for the hell of it. Yeah. Literally, I think it would be more interesting than my life right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. What, the great convert? You telling me that wouldn't be the fucking most interesting thing to ever happen to you? You're saying building model kits with your with your friend isn't uh, interesting? Not as interesting as literally becoming a health bond world of Chris Chan's making. Like, imagine the fucking <clears throat> nightmares that would erupt from, from underneath the earth. Shit, you got me there. Actually, you onto the people. Actually, huh? yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like building a model kit is nothing compared to seeing like conglomerates of like My Little Pony characters mixed with Sonic you, <laughs> and the world turns to chaos. Imagine walking into the stream like as we say that. Literally, nine people are here for to hear like, us talking about people fucking, fucking confused Hell world. as fuck. <laughs> They're like, I, I wanted to watch the Barbados be built. Why are we talking about the great okay. convergence of our Lord and Savior Chris Chan? Okay, uh, so like real talk, oh, the great convergence does happen. It did, and happen. like the world is chaos because now all of these things that Chris Chan has ever wanted has come to in in reality, right? It did happen. What do you? Okay, so like, what do you do? Like, what is your purpose in life? Do you just continue doing what you're doing, or do you like hunt down the monstrosities released by Chris Chan? <sighs> I mean, Christian's the Lord and Savior. He's supposed to, you know, save us. I think I would become. I think I'd become a, a nomadic murderer, going around killing all these abominations that come from other realities. I'd become. I'd become a, a CWC paladin. That's fucked up. <clears throat> and fight. And fight for. Fight for Chris. Become his paladin. We're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have a final showdown in Chris Chan. Like, see, we're gonna we're gonna have a fight in, in Quickville, where we're like <laughs> blowing buildings up, trying to kill each other. I'm like, Richard, you know what the fuck you're doing? You don't know what you're doing. Join me. He's been manipulating you the whole time. And my, meanwhile, I'm setting up detonated explosions in Quickville, fucking killing <laughs> thousands of Quickville citizens. It's what, what, where the fuck was Quickville again? Fucking, what, what, where was Chris from? Virginia? Fuck, I don't. I think yeah, Virginia. <laughs> You're literally just committing terrorism. Richard, <laughs> you don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> like fucking glasses shattering everywhere. Like I have a bazooka I'm fucking firing at you. You're like mm. deflecting it with your shield. And you're like using special like Chris Chan magic. <laughs> like, you shoot a curse Hami high at me. And I'm fucking like, you fucking snap out of it, man. I punch you in the fucking mouth. And you're like, what have I done? And you go around and just fucking annihilate quick fill together. How could it lead? We, raise it. <laughs> we should raise it to the ground. How did it lead to this? 
how did it come to this brother against brother quick <laughs> versus america we should not have allowed this sovereign nation to take hold in virginia you know what we must do we must detonate the the the, the fucking love quest nukes <laughs> But only a I'm boyfriend sorry, free girl can term can actually initiate it. Do you know any? No. No. In this no, day I and don't. age, that market is dried up, Shane. <laughs> it looks I know what I must do. And I just <laughs> cut my dick off. <laughs> no. Shut Stop. I have to do this. Stop that trend. <laughs> I have to do this. Just, just, I have to annihilate the bomb. I, I know, I know, but don't go there. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> There's uh, no other way. And then I hit the detonation button, and it fucking the quickville goes up in flames. You were supposed to turn it off. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm not turning it off. I'm turning it on. I'm trying to annihilate Quickville and all of its inhabitants. <laughs> this is the part where you're like, I will be, we, we, I will need, be the... we need someone to do this. And then like the giant green orc man like puts his hand on your shoulder and is like, friend, this is something you must do. I cannot it's accompany like, you. <laughs> but you can, but you're the one who can survive the radiation. Yeah, but this is your destiny, pal. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's not my job. <laughs> I didn't fucking write this shit. What about my robot friend? He can do it. No. Nah. No, it's your destiny. Nah, you gotta you gotta die. And then we're gonna retcon it in the DLC. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> uh Fallout 3 sucks. What happened? I thought Quick Bill's water was, mm -hmm. was destroyed. No. <laughs> you did the opposite. You made them thrive. And then you see like lining the shores. Of like a, a red dune beach is the corpses of a thousand amalgamations of Sonichu and like people mixed together in like this hellscape like like Cthulhu levels of like body morphing uh -huh. and you like look upon what you've brought and you, you, you get on your knees and you scream until you bleed you just claw your eyes out at the horrors you've unleashed in the world because you decided not to detonate the nuclear bomb in Quickville <laughs> <laughs> Zoom good. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you chose to join at an interesting time, PG. So, oh, um, if you don't mind our ramblings, it's been going well. <laughs> Holy fuck! I walk the hellscape that is the the ruins of Quickville, mm. and streaming from the sky. It's streaming from the sky are like the tenuous connections of human form and their souls being sucked into the the the, the huge Void. overwhelming face of uh of Chris. Christian Weston Chandler. He's just sucking the life force out of people and you walk this hell earth through the city down to the lake and you realize that your soul has been being sucked out too and your failure to detonate the bomb has doomed all of humanity. This is your future. You feel your arms turn to, to, to sp <clears throat> like spines and your legs elongate and snap backwards and you find you're turning to a real hedgehog. <laughs> no, I thought you were going to go with something else. <laughs> the, 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 more, the more of your soul you lose, the more of a hedgehog you become. You realize mm -hmm. that you're not, only, you're not only a hedgehog, but you're an electric hedgehog type Pokemon. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the only word that can come out of your mouth is cursey hami ha and every time you do you blow up another building. You you gotta you gotta go out into the world and zap to the extreme again. You you once you reach the border of Virginia and you your body has maintained its almost human form, you limp to the edge and you find out there's just a cliff. There's Virginia nothing else. is the only place that exists anymore in this world. The rest of America is a thousand miles away. You can barely see the edge of it. Turns out that the Earth has been split in so like split asunder by the pure power of your lack of will, and humanity has been doomed from the start. This was the inevitable outcome of Chris Chan being arrested. His powers have been unleashed. You <laughs> <laughs> no. scream. Because he's now become the ruler of the world, and he picks out his favorite playthings, and he becomes. And like, you are among them. <laughs> you are among like, them. 
I'm, I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> I have. <laughs> and the worst My part is. My body is nothing but an amalgus blob. I <laughs> slither and leave a slime trail wherever I walk. I look upon this land of circuitry and, and terribly drawn <laughs> comic book images and I just cry. I cry at everything I possibly could have been or would have been. And I look upon this gaping maw that sucks the souls out of humanity and I ask him why he spared me and he looks down at me and he says oh. <laughs> and then the sound of PlayStation 3 starts up and he plays Little Big Planet and all I can do is cry is play along <laughs> is, be, do... is be the puppet in this fucking game be the sack boy. And I, walk through these, and I walk through these valleys of sack boys and, and destroyed buildings, upturned cars, signs of rioting, looting in the streets. Everyone just nothing but viscera and hedgehog parts and Pokemon. And you, 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 you slime your way up these buildings and you look upon the land from high above and you realize that the city is no longer a city but the deep pores of another growing giant humanoid and these 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 crystallizations that that are turning into buildings there's a new city being birthed from inside of this monstrosity that Christian is feeding he's creating another and he's going to invade more planets and he's going to eat the fucking <clears throat> life force from every single planet in this entire universe and once he's done he'll create an army and he'll break into more universes to feed on those planets Death is inevitable, and Chris Chan is forever. <laughs> God intended. God as God intended. <laughs> as Chris Chan intended. And this is all because. And this is all because I couldn't activate the nuke to destroy Quickfill when it was happening. All because you pussied out. All because I was too scared of mass genocide. But as far as I know, the world is already dead. And it was my, it was, I should have sacrificed the lives of a couple million to save the world, but it's too late now. The humanoids birthed from, from, from viscera and gore and the placenta of the, of the, the center of the earth spew their ways through putrid fucking filth out into the universe where no life is safe. Hold on. Uh, give me a sec. <clears throat> is it... <laughs> Uh, here we go. The music, man. No, 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 no it, it is good. <laughs> it is good. I mean, you, you end up looking out into the horizon and you realize... <clears throat> sorry. You, you realize that Chris Chan has alter altered you for his own peace of mind. He doesn't want me to run at full speed into the electrical bank and smash our skulls against the walls or hold our breath until we faint or cut our throats in rusted sheets of metal there are reflective surfaces down there you can see them i will describe and we will and i will describe it as i do i am a great soft jelly thing smoothly rounded with no mouth with pulsing white <laughs> holes filled by fog where my eyes used to be Rubbery appendages that were once my arms, bulks, bu bulks rounding down into legless humps of, of soft slippery matter. I leave a moist trail when I move, blotches of diseased evil gray come and go on my surface, as though light is being, uh, is being beamed, beamed from within. Outwardly, dumbly, I, shum I shamble about, a thing I could never have been known as human. A thing whose shape is so alien, a travesty that humanity becomes more obscene for the vague resemblance. Inwardly, alone. Here, living under the land, under the sea, in the belly of Chris Chan's own imagination. Whom we created because our time was badly spent, and we must have known unconsciously that he could do it better. At least everyone else is safe at last. Chris will be all the matter for that. I'm, it makes me a little happier, and yet... Chris is one. Simply. He has taken us all. I have no mouth. I must scream. Just fade out into, like, the humming. Yeah, basically. 
no, that wasn't the Adi lore. That wasn't. <laughs> that was a Sonichu all... lore. How, the fuck do... all... uh, How did we huh? get to Sonichu again? I don't know. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing like coming up with deep lore off the top of your head. It, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. There we go. Just being a, a spiritual miracle, lyrical. Just being fucking psychotic. <laughs> Just being insane. <laughs> Literally, the end of days has mm -hmm. been avoided. Oh, we what got to it because we were talking about the Super Mutant. Oh, yeah, we were. <laughs> talking about the terrible ending of Fallout uh, Fallout 3. 3. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to make it better, better is to fucking in insert uh, Chris Chan into it somehow. I hope someone mods. If someone is listening to this later on, either as a YouTube VOD or just like here now, please do that. Please oh, make fa that please make Fallout Three good. <laughs> <clears throat> I like to imagine I like to imagine that Death Stranding would have been better if it was about the convergence with Chris Chan. I love Death Stranding <laughs> to death, but it would have been so much more interesting. Instead of you're fighting BTS, you're fighting like the dead souls of men who've been trapped by fucking Chris Chan. Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> it's Maybe. really. It's just. I don't know. There's. There's not a big difference sometimes. No, that shit's fucking funny. Uh, uh, yeah. If um, I was good at modding, I would so fucking do that. Just make a Christian mod. Replace Mr. House with Christian. <laughs> <laughs> no, not literally the best guy in the whole game. <laughs> you don't want Christian. You don't want Christian nah. instead of Mr. House. I told you, I'd be the Avenger that would eliminate every creature that's come out of the Convergence. <laughs> I'm not an ally. I'm a force of I'm chaos. A I'm a really... I'm a threat. <laughs> I'm a threat to Chris Chan's development of this convergence world. I will not back down from this statement. I will. I will double down. I. If if the convergence happens, I will eliminate every extra extra planar creature. How dare you? How dare you care. not submit? How dare you not succumb to the will of our Lord? It'll happen. I have, I'm, being, I'm being prepared. If I have to be the last one to fight and protect the world from Chris Chan, then I will be that. Someone has to. I will become <laughs> the Avenger. The world will need a savior and it has to be me at this point. <laughs> I'm the only one who has avoided his spells. <clears throat> I have not... I have not... I have not... Uh, had his ire directed at me. Yet, yet, but once I once I start once I start small once I start eliminating the small creatures, then he'll take notice, and that's when I'm gonna have to get the big guns. I'm gonna have to get the anti-reality guns out. <laughs> it's just fucking. It's just psych meds. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's inside anti, a presence. Anti, it's antipsychotics loaded in a syringe gun. <laughs> I will save this world. It's the last thing I do. Uh, I'd mention one no of them, but one I, can stop me. But I haven't huh? taken. I, I would mention one of them, but I don't think I've ever taken antipsychotics. Oh. Uh, I don't know any of the famous ones. I don't know any of the famous ones either. Which are the ones that are in style right now? Which, which, which ones? Which is? Which are the ones that are in vogue right now? <laughs> what antipsychotics are in vogue right now? Yeah, uh, anyone in chat now? <laughs> what a fucking statement. What are the popular antipsychotics to like take right now? That every the, the ones that everyone are taking, you know? Like if you were to go up to someone who does take antipsychotics and you just ask him, hey, what are you taking right now? W like what answer would it be? I just, I, ob I love that statement. Just that <laughs> statement alone is funny. What antipsychotics <laughs> are in vogue right now? <laughs> yeah, I take these for fashion, not for function. That's like the that is literally like the most psychopathic thing a person can say. Like tech wear for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a fanny pack, but it's strapped to my chest, so I don't get robbed. Yeah, I take antipsychotics. So that I can... <laughs> Why would you take them to function as a normal human being? That sounds dumb. Oh, it's because you know. You just I, like I tried my Burning Man once. I was freaking out. I they found did... that they worked really well for me. Yeah, so I've been taking them for fashion. It's not because I have a mental health issue or anything like that. I can quit anytime I want. <laughs> I, I hope you don't. <laughs> Sounds like they're working for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still 
honestly one of the stupidest fucking sentences we've said <laughs> on fucking stream. <laughs> so you what you were you sure it wasn't the fucking like thirty minute extended cut of Chris Chandler? No, I, I think which antipsychotics <laughs> are in vogue right now is probably one of the stupidest fucking things we've ever said on stream. I would say that's probably number one. So far, yeah. Considering some of your fucking ramblings, yeah. We should switch the song. Uh, I mean, it, it was it was thematic. It was thematic. It's good. But yeah, let's let's swap it. My chrysalis highway, man. All right, here we go. Hmm. I'm gonna let's go. I'm gonna lower it a little bit from my side. Can't see me. I'm fucking having a bop right now. Hmm. I mean, it's a good ass song. Now, normally I don't paint uh, parts while they're in the runner. However, uh, this bit is going to be. Oh, a no, you, bitch nah, you can get away hold. with that. Yeah, you it's, can a, get away with it, that. it's a bitch to hold this thing. So I'm going to paint it here. Again, normally it's like you don't you don't don't you don't paint the full part while it's on a runner. You can paint bits on a runner, but I wouldn't paint the full part on a runner. Because yeah. you have to cut it off and you'll fuck up the paint finish anyways. Yeah. I mean, here it's just like the sides. I don't even need to. I don't have to paint the top or the back here, for example, except maybe that. No, no, I don't need to. Just the sides. <clears throat> I'm gonna let that dry real quick. Which shouldn't take too long. <clears throat> I'm committing way too much to this fucking shitty kit. You're too Pete. But I want it to look nice. No, you can't have that on stream. Mmm, toes! TOS, TOS. Mmm. <clears throat> Delicious little piggies. Fuck up. <laughs> never, to never say shit like that again in my presence. Time to put away those fucking you shut your whore mouth. You <laughs> shut your whore those... mouth right now. Before I just fucking away, kick you out of the call. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Shane. What the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? You don't like you don't like talking about the no. little hogs. No. <laughs> God fucking damn it, dude. This is a this is a family family friendly like stream, okay? This is family friendly. Were you talking about the fucking mm -hmm. Chris Chan murder spree? Yeah, that's fine. That's family friendly. That's fine. We don't talk about toes on this fucking stream, you fucking weirdo. Little, little piggies. Again? <laughs> yeah. What part of <laughs> shut your whore mouth do you not comprehend? I don't comprehend any part of that sentence. None of those, <clears throat> none of those words are in the Bible. <laughs> what the? Yes, they are. <laughs> you ever read the fucking chapter with Mary Magdalene in it? I'm pretty sure <laughs> "shut your whore mouth" has been in, has been stated maybe like seven or eight times in that specific chapter. I'm not gonna give you the exact verses, but I'm ninety percent sure that "shut your whore mouth" has been uttered in the Bible. That sounds like a personal problem to me, then. How is that a personal problem? Maybe you should fucking stop focusing on the on the worst aspects of human beings. Why are you telling me this when these are words you should be reflecting upon yourself? I have no I have no intention of reflecting on my actions. Then stop. Then don't fucking sh shout shit out. No. O only practice what you, you preach. Can't, you can't stop me. <laughs> Your power is too little for my autism. <laughs> you can't win. I say stupid things for a living. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, how are you guys enjoying the uh, Gundam Barbados like building? The song fucking unironically <laughs> hits. Like this shit rips, dude. Yeah, the song's fucking great. I hmm. fucking feel it. Yeah, makes me want to like go on a road trip right now. I'm pretty sure this is when you get. Is, do you get the car in number two? I think uh, you get the car in two, right? I do not remember. Fuck. I just. I hate. I hate Fallout 3 lore. I hate that for fucking some reason cars just don't work in Fallout 3. Mm hmm. I hate that shit. It's because then they have to justify like having gas. Like gas well, stations. Because no, a lot of the cars are nuclear powered, but then like before then, like fucking. Oh just shit. Don't make they? them nuclear powered. Glad, like obviously if you can get a gas powered car in fallout 2 there's like no fucking point or whatever game that is i can't remember it's been so fucking long mm. uh car fallout 
Two? <clears throat> yes, Fallout 2. Because some dude buy, gets a bunch of parts for a car like by like scavenging. Mm -hmm. It's just like Gamebryo, so? they, 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 they're stuck to using Gamebryo engine. And for some reason, they're dedicated to falling on the path of not good. So. Hold on, there we go. Jeez, this was a nightmare to put in. Hmm. Okay, okay, we good, we good. Uh, I think so. Um, did I put this on backwards? No, no, we good, we good. <clears throat> this is supposed to be his arm. It looks like a like a flamethrower almost. Nice. Weirdly enough, like just as is. A little bit, yeah. E2. Cheers. So, 38 and 37. So, these I also have to paint. Because <clears throat> these are fucking more metallic, like gunmetal. Uh, I think this might have stickers on Whoa. it. Let's find out. It does not. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, let's do it on here. Hmm. Oh, God. This plastic is fucking tight. Holy shit. Like, this shit, you have to put effort to move these joints. Oh my god. Isn't there, like, I'm... a plastic lube? Uh, uh, I have I... lube. I don't have plastic lube. <laughs> I was asking if plastic lube existed. Not if no. you possessed any upon your person. <laughs> no, it doesn't exist. Just... Okay. I mean, I guess you could use KY jelly if you really needed to. Just use WD-30. Just... No, I'm using WD-2. Yeah. It's just like grit that comes out. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's like pure grit. It's like... It's like it's like a sandblaster. That's what W2 is. Because you've got WD-40, WD but WD-30 WD is like specific for like plastic kits. I don't know if you know. Well, that'd be nice. <clears throat> it helps lubricate. Makes things uh Simple. Simple. Same bubble. Fuck. The song makes me feel maybe murder is okay. <laughs> you know, as long as you're on like a desert road. <laughs> In, during during an apocalypse. Yeah, basically. Like it maybe maybe murdering people isn't as bad of a thing as as other people say in the apocalypse. Maybe it should be justified, you know. Maybe it should be made legal. The apocalypse, anything is legal. I mean, true. True. <clears throat> it's just like the purge. Oh my god. The purge is the dumbest shit in the world. It is. Actually, I think the Amish do something very similar to the purge. Uh, every 10 years, I believe. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know enough about the Amish, but it, it's basically imagine the purge. But instead of killing and raping, it's uh, just like partying. Because they don't get, they never do that. That's just a <clears throat> yeah, basically. Um, I mean, before you become an adult, they tell you, like, go out and see the world. If you want to be Amish still, then come back. But if you don't want to be Amish, you can just leave. But you can't come back afterwards. It's like a pilgrimage. Well, that's the closest thing to a purge, purge, like, a thing. Because you're, like, gone for, like, a month or something. Oh, no, I mean, like, they, they literally just party, like, every so many, uh, every so often to let their, like, urges out. Nice. <clears throat> like they just get well, really drunk them. is what I mean I do that mm. yeah I know you fucking weirdo I do that you do sick it. fuck mm. I am sick but that's not that's not conducive to my my my, sexual my mental being <laughs> <laughs> being sick does not mean I fuck okay <laughs> what what? I'm running on like I'm running on six hours of unadjusted sleep. I'm running on four, I think. Maybe you should be less of a man and be more of a man. You have to remember, dude, that I've been up since yesterday. You waking up? Like since ten yesterday. This here like this. There we go. I was like Man, I am having a hard time sleeping today. Maybe I should take this melatonin. I was like, and when I took it, I was like, okay, huh? Don't I have something to do tomorrow morning? Oh right, let me set this alarm. And I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> You're like, this shit like ain't sleep. kicking. <laughs> Basically, 
Uh, Richard said this shit was supposed to knock me out. What the fuck? And then you just say like, shit's mid doesn't even work. You wake you wake up it like you wake up to your alarm. Like two seconds later, your alarm is ringing. You fucking honk shoe, honk shoe, and you're fucking like, what the fuck is going on now? I told you that shit would work. Now like try it tonight when you're like don't have commitments tomorrow. I always have commitments. Mm -hmm. I'm committing. Uh, oh yeah, it's, slide. It's, it's Sunday. I forgot. Yeah, you gotta go to church. No, absolutely not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh yeah, you're right. COVID. I forgot. My bad. <clears throat> you attended digitally. Yeah, I, I'm a Jehovah's Witness, actually. Ah, uh, true, true. What's that? You want to celebrate? You want to celebrate a stream? You want to you celebrate your anniversary stream? Sucks. I don't celebrate anniversary <laughs> streams. I don't celebrate. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I am gonna do an anniversary stream, because it's like... I have to remember when the fuck I officially started, like, streaming again. Um, which was, like, I think... August? Like, that's when I, like, went hardcore <clears throat> to, like, streaming again. I'm pretty sure it was August of last year. But technically, I've been, like, content creating since, like, 2012. Yeah, with your fucking Sonic versus Mario Newgrounds animations. Uh, no. It was just like old school Let's Plays. Actually, why did I say 2012? I meant 2007. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was around 2007. Hmm, I would make Let's Plays when I was in like fucking middle school, dude. I mean, I also did. But I also played, I had a segment on my, my Let's Play channel where I played literally the edgiest games possible, and that would not play on, on, on modern YouTube. However, <clears throat> man, it was fun. I played fucking horrible. Like, I was like, what are the edgiest games I could possibly play? And I made a whole segment out of it. It was like Postal 2 was the first one. I just really like Postal 2. Uh, that game was fun. Uh, and then it was like Super Columbine Massacre RPG. <laughs> no. And then it was like Grezzo 2, which is also a really fun game, but incredibly fucking tied to Italian politics and was kind of slightly racist. And then so I played bit. an actually racist game, which is Ethnic Cleansing, which is one of the worst first-person shooters <laughs> I've ever played. Some of the worst gunplay ever. If white it, supremacists can I make heard games that terrible, I don't know. I think I've heard of that game. I think it's it, terrible. I remember it's being one of the real like, shit. It fucking blows. Yeah. It's not even... Like... Maybe they should just stick the fucking role-playing on Gmod servers. Making games is not their forte. They're true. One of my favorite images is like, look at my proud Nordic blood, and it's like a like a fourteen year old white kid with no chin, <laughs> <laughs> just like chinless, uh, like chinless. It's unfortunate because like fucking like uh, Vikings and shit were all manlets. Yeah. Then again, muscle, then again, muscle a lot else. of people back then were also just all manlets. Because <clears throat> again, lack of actual nutrition, gravity was heavy, famines. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, gravity was stronger back then, so everyone was like <laughs> smushed. <clears throat> Nowadays, gravity isn't so bad. I can say uh, that I've avoided gravity for the past twenty-three years of my life. Oh, hey, right now, how you doing? It's been a little while. Then again, I haven't streamed on a Saturday morning in ages. <clears throat> I've been well. I've been well. Just getting by. For now, though. Um... Sorry, I was pressing my hair. <laughs> okay. I had to make sure my fucking my bangs weren't getting in my face. Yeah, no, dude. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> if you were busy, that's fine. I mean, that that's like everyone right now. Um, like now that I've actually had my act, my like work schedule like shift change. Like right now, I, I got out of work like three hours ago. Um, but technically I should be going to bed in like four hours. <clears throat> and then repeating. Today was like super fucking chill. I like getting paid to do almost nothing is great. <clears throat> but either way, uh, let's try to get this on. So it just, uh, Oops. no, this still needs to dry. Shit. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me just make sure that the paint job didn't get fucked. Uh, not too much. <clears throat> Alright, we'll let that dry. I mean, then I just put this together and then we're done with this. Alright, let's move on to the feet. Oh no. Little piggies. <clears throat> 
You keep walking into it, pal. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking working with. That which allows me to. <clears throat> that joke was way too advanced for you. Sure. <laughs> My brain cells work harder than your brain cells. They do. Oh, they don't. <clears throat> yeah, mine do. Oh, they don't. Yeah. Can you imagine if humans actually used 100% of their brain sometimes? Literally imagine that. Literally, though? Can you can you believe? Like, what <laughs> society would be like if that were actually true? Hmm. I, I know imagine. I only use 10% of my brain, mostly brain dead half the day. No, I'm true. actually officially a corpse. True, true. It's almost as if you did not need, you know, a large chunk of your brain just to maintain all your red blood cells flowing. Oh, to I deliver don't. oxygen I to your don't. fucking lungs. No, no, no I, I really don't. Like... You think I maintain my brain? No, I just gotta let it go do whatever it wants. Well, that's why it is on autopilot. I've always been on autopilot. God, imagine Where being aware try? of like... Imagine if we had to micromanage our fucking bodies. Ew. Most of humanity would not make it past like... <laughs> the, the fetus stage. Like, Sorry as soon, about as, as, soon, as soon as the brain is developed, it's like, bam, you're fucked. You you have oh, to be yeah. you have to be able to like manage it and then like since you're babby like fetus you have no idea what the fuck's going on even outside in the outside world yet you're like you you barely had your brain like just like pop up like in fucking uh, in spore when when you get enough enough DNA points <laughs> <laughs> and you immediately die because you can't fucking micromanage your blood your blood pumping that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Oh, oh I've evolved poorly. <laughs> uh, shit. Hold on. How the fuck does this go? Yeah, boy. More polycap. Woo, polycap. I mean, this goes. Oh, it goes in this way. Okay, I was like, that's. Thankfully, just... none of the joints are polycapped. It's like things that hold other pieces together. Hmm. <clears throat> Good. As gun intended. Hmm. <clears throat> I should have put these on and then maybe applied the second coating. That, that probably would have been a smarter thing to do. So now we slide you in here like this. Right. That's it? I just... No, there's no way. We've got to clip it in further, right? Right? Hmm. There's, there's no way this is, like, just it. God damn it. God dang it. Ooh, I'm so mad right now. Ooh, god dang it. Hold on. What do you sound like? Shut your poor mouth, Shane. You, I'm trying to think here. For a bit. I'm, I'm trying to think as to how this plastic like bit fits in here. Okay. It's harder than it looks. Built one. You already built one of these kits. Yeah, see, that's what I fucking thought so, but every single one of these fucking kits is different. Somehow. Somehow, they make it different every time, and it's fucking weird. Like, th <laughs> these arms are different from the past two, like, IBO kit arms that I've built. And I do not know why. I do not know how they make them so different. And now I gotta fucking fix the paint that I fucking smudge with my fucking fingers. <clears throat> oh. You have to be fucking careful. Because then if this shit gets like smudged, it looks gross. The gunmetal will look like disgusting. Like afterwards. There we go. <clears throat> One time I went out with uh, one of my friends. Well, with a, with a group of my friends, and uh, every now and again, uh, one of my friends invites his little brother along. I say little, but like the dude's like 17 now. Mm. And it, it was a running joke between us that he was like not fed at home. Because every time yeah. we took him out somewhere, like every time we went to go eat somewhere, the dude would just like devour his food. As if, again, he hadn't like eaten at all at home. Mm. Because like we went to we went to a ramen place once, like a really good ramen place, <clears throat> and the fucker went through his food, like he, he he slurped up the entire bowl in like three minutes. 
and it was like, a and it was a large fucking bowl and we were like what the fuck dude he's like i didn't eat today and we we're like do you not eat like at all um we went to like kane's once he got like the biggest fucking thing that they have there which what the fuck is it the kaniac combo or whatever which is like six fucking like chicken fingers he got extra fries instead of coleslaw and like a large fucking drink and he downed it all in like five fucking minutes jesus and we were just like dude what the fuck um because i don't know if you know if you eat too quickly it'll fuck with your digestive system like that makes sense like really badly it, it, it'll it'll give you digestive problems <clears throat> since you're that not processing sense. your food it's just like you're consuming but not receiving nutrients whatever nutrients you would get it's like okay so it always like worried us a little bit hmm so now the guy has cancer i'm kidding <laughs> I was gonna say like what a fucking hell way to segue into that one <laughs> the bottom so line is cancer. bottom line is cancer. don't get cancer yeah cancer. J just eat properly kids you can avoid getting cancer too Alright. <clears throat> so uh, I'm a little upset. I got the piece. Fuck. Ah. Got it. Can you calm down, Shane? Please. No. Everyone's I had watching. Dig underneath it. I had to dig underneath my table for it. Oh. You lost polycap? No, I lost like this small piece that fits in between the legs. <laughs> yeah. You mean yours? <laughs> you finally found your dick. <laughs> it only took no. you like 20 years of searching. No, I didn't. You fucking beta cuck. No, I didn't find my dick yet. I'm still <laughs> looking for it. I'm still looking for it, man. Don't fucking make fun of me. Don't worry, when you hit puberty, it'll drop. No! <laughs> Alright, that's enough no! of it. That's enough of Arab music. Hey, right, what's next? Metallic Monks. That's a good ass fucking song. Hmm. It's a great title. Yep. All right, this goes in the back, facing upwards. Okay, it goes like this. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, you're right. This this was a really good uh, like song choice for for the stream. Yeah, I've just been thinking about Fallout <clears throat> a lot recently. Well, it just really encapsulates like all the themes and stuff of like Iron Blooded Diapers, which is like nothing. Desert. It's literally just like an empty void of fucking nothingness. That's what IBO really is. It's nothing. You think about it really hard. So it's like that it's like that uh that meme that's like bro skip the opening that's like why not no. skip the whole show literally <laughs> it's like yeah there you go that's ibo <clears throat> you just read the novels I'll never skip the opening. i do read novels it's what i mostly would where i get my entertainment from I, mean, are there I, I said just read the novels I, are there novels of ibo yeah i didn't know that of the side stories of <laughs> the side characters that are more interesting until we get some of the kits. <clears throat> Apparently fucking uh, Mikazuki gets fucking laid and has a daughter. Yeah. I did not fucking know that. He, yeah, I, he's, the only, he's the only person to ever fuck canonically in the Gundam. Uh, he fucks in the Gundam. In the Gundam, okay, yeah. Okay, they said in yep. Gundam. Like, no. I mean, technically. <clears throat> He's the only main character who has been who has it has been in, like implied in a mainline show that he has had sex. Uh, no, fucking um, Camille uh got called into uh, Char's room one time, and Char and Char was laying in his bed like seductively for some fucking reason. He likes those sixteen-year-old boys. Hmm. He Char likes is a lot like Han. He's a lot like what? He's a, Char is a lollicon. Uh, a shotacon. 
No, it was a lollicon. He bleed. <laughs> like he has a fetish for little girls. <laughs> oh wait, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh, like like the char from IBO, who's in a oh, fucking ooh. arranged marriage with a fucking like nine year old. Yeah. Yeah. Great show. Ten out of ten. Or like the char in, in real in, in UC, whose only love interests have been small girls. Small Aryan like Sune. girls. The law Sune and then Quest. <clears throat> Yeah, it's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> the official translation is, oh, yeah, Char's a pedophile. I was like, yeah, he kind of is. Yeah. And then he's like, in the final confrontation with Amro, he's like, it's like, Lala was more like a mom to me. And Amro's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then they both <laughs> die. <laughs> like, like, the literally Char's last words was like, I miss my mommy, Lala. And he's like, what? What? <laughs> and then they force Ghost. <laughs> Literally, like, like that's literally how fucking uh, they're literally Charles stopping the bio lizard from crashing onto Earth, and then yeah, they and like then, as like, they're like, casting chaos control. And then he's like, then he's like Amuro, Amuro, and then he's like, what the fuck? He, what do you want? And he's like, Lala was like my mom, and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then they disappear. Yeah, basically uh, that's, how, that's, that's how it happens. Well, welcome that's to Gundam. How it happens? Still a better love story than fucking IBO. I mean, Lala Sune had a, a lot more to do in the novels. She was like a, like the the whole the ending of you like of the original show. The ending of the original show is like the mid climax. There's still like a whole book after that full yeah. of stuff. They go like mm-hmm. super deep into the new type stuff, mm-hmm. and like it's like all really well explained. It's really interesting, honestly. I love and the how novels. they became outlawed and shit. No, this is before that. And then that's how we get Zeta Gundam. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> I've yet to actually. Well, I don't remember when I finished. 0079. It was ages ago, so I do not remember it at all. <clears throat> I do need to watch the recap films again, just to remind myself. <clears throat> all right, so these bend forward. Hold on. And then we need ugh, fucking polycaps. God, I fucking hate these things, dude. Mm-mm, polycaps. Ooh, polycaps. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh man. <clears throat> no, that's wrong, Hunter. But yeah, oh, no. Fucking dang it. Char was a pedophile. Char was pedophile. There's there's a lot of pedophiles in Gundam. Yes. And they want you to root for them. Mm, no. Yeah. Never. Like Char never wants, wanted you to root Char for wants you to root for him at first. Not not as not as Quattro, but I guess Char, he's like you know, fucking stand by my side and fight for my cause, you know? Well, to be fair, Char was also, like, young. And Lala was within the age bracket. <laughs> but what? she was still, like, on the lower end of the age bracket. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? I think, like, I think, like, I don't remember what age Char was in, like, 79. Shit, I, I don't remember part? how, oh, I have to look up these ages real quick. You want to remember now? Like, you gotta know. I have to make sure. Well, actually, Char's in a Phoebeophile. God, don't fucking... <laughs> Dude, I, I remember I got into an argument with this fucking chick. So I was like, you're, you're just a fucking pedophile. She's like, actually, I'm in a Phoebeophile. No, and I was like, like, "What the fuck is that?" And she's like, "Oh, well, the, fact that, the fact that you brought up the fact that there's semantics brought up meant that she's still a pedophile." Uh, no, I know, but at the time, I was like, "All right, I- I'll give you a chance." What the fuck does that mean? She's like, "Oh, well, I'm not attracted to little boys. I'm attracted to like 13 year old or or like you know between 13 and 17." I'm like, "That's fucking worse, anyways. That's still fucking bad. You mm-hmm. uh, you are scum of the earth." Yeah. I, I like it, it's like I'm not a pedophile asterisk these fucking like sad excuses for human beings man literally God, where what the snacks are gonna drop a fucking me. colony on the planet he was born UC 59 and 79 so, so I have to be 20 so he'd be 20 yeah come on Shane 70 minus 50 I'm not good at math Oh uh, yeah, but so if fucking Lala would be like seventeen, it's still weird, but like uh, it's not as weird when a... he's thirty-three and Quest is fifteen. 
Okay, that that's really weird. <laughs> like, 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 Hathaway loved Quest for some fucking psychotic reason. Uh, oh. How? How old? Is she? Thirteen. Excuse me. <clears throat> Thirteen. That's so it's even worse. God, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Thanks, Char. You're our savior. Literally. Join Zeon. Join Zeon. Is she Zeon? She Zeon. God. More like more like Jig Beon. Honestly, Jig I own Beon. Him. True. Jig True. Beon. You got him. You got yeah, him. He, he will. He will never recover from this. <laughs> literally, he'll never literally recover. never recover from this. The moment he tries, I'll fucking cancel him on Twitter.com. True. We'll bring up his past tweets. Hmm. Um, actually, remember that time that you were, like, in a romantic relationship with a seven-year-old? No, 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 it wasn't me. No, no it wasn't me. I, I was, it, it, it was, it was, it was a passive version of me, okay? What's in the past is in the past, okay? You ca you cannot, you literally cannot blame me. You, you cannot, you cannot equate a past me to current me, okay? It is not the same. It is not the but same thing. Images. Nope, no, no, no. Nope. But she, we have the chat log between. Nope. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Never did she, it. Just pulls a shaggy. Cancel culture. Nope. Wasn't me. R -r -r we literally have pictures of you coming out of her hat. Wasn't me. Nope. It was babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that would help his argument? <laughs> No, I think it'd probably make it worse. It's like, uh, babysitting or sitting on babies? Like, so like nervously. No, let's not I get into semantics. Answers. Yeah, let's not get into semantics. <laughs> oh, this piece, this piece won't clip together for some fucking reason. I love that. Like in every like uh, like SRW game or whatever, whenever uh, Cuatro is a part of it. Um, they all hate him for trying to like crush the fucking planet, like you know, dropping the fucking colony and everything. As I should. But they never bring up the fact that again he was trying to get emotion, like romantically involved with a child. He wasn't up and he was that that was um he wasn't doing that until Charles got Okay. Which would have been like way later though. Okay, well never mind. His relationship with Lala. Yeah, that, that happens at the end of Zeta. Still... I almost forgot. Yeah, this well, relationship double, double with Lala is weird, but it's still like within creepy, like bounds, I guess. Yeah, it's bounds to be fucking creepy. Weird. It's creepy as fuck, but it's not as weird as it would be if it was just like. Go on. Was, like... It, w it was not as weird as if he was thirty dating a thirteen-year-old or being like romantically interested in a thirteen-year-old. Oh well, yeah, that's true. Like 20, 20 versus 17, that's, a, that's an age difference of three years as opposed to 13 years or 20 years or something like that. Yeah, one's so more I mean, socially like, acceptable in different countries compared to... Well, I, yeah, you know, well actually, the, the other one too, I mean, if you're in Mexico, that's fucking normal, unfortunately. Gross. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. It, it's nothing really like cool. fucking... Nothing like literally the worst people on the entire planet. I feel like I'm missing pieces somehow. Unless these you're missing can... a piece of your fucking brain. No, we should be good. Do you check your brain? Sorry, did you say something? What? We were talking about Quattro for a bit. Oh, I don't remember anymore. My no. brain's been my brain's been going. Mm, sounds like you're missing a piece of your fucking brain. You <laughs> goddamn mongoloid. <laughs> you're waiting to use that? Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Sucks that you have to steal jokes like Carlos Mencia. Sucks that you have to steal jokes from me in order to try to make funny jokes. My life is a funny joke. <clears throat> I mean, can you even call what you have a life? That's a very good point. Yeah, there we go. You fucking owned. I did get owned. Cope Seath. Yeah. I'm not coping. Cope Seath plus ratio plus you have no life. Plus, you must scream. No, plus no mouth. Plus no mouth. 
plus no mouth, but no mouth plus gelatinous body plus no eyes plus refracting of light through your gelatinous uh like being plus can't scream plus you can't kill yourself plus m hates you plus m hates you true people who have not read i have no mouth and i'm a scream are fucking confused right now so it's such a good novel i love it, that short story it's such a fucking great short story the game is pretty good too i think i told you um like um <clears throat> my english uh instructor in high school I was like, oh, have you ever read uh, Harlan Ellison? And he's like, no, but I've heard I've heard he writes really good stuff. I'm like, oh, you should check out I Have No Mouth and Emma Scream. I just read it some time ago, like not too long ago. And it's honestly like really good, but very disturbing. He's like, yeah, I'll check it out. Next day, because uh, I told him it's like seven pages. He's like, all right, yeah, sure. I'll check it out. Next day, he's like, Richard, that was one of the most fucked up things I've ever read. Like he, he was like disturbed. It's pretty good. And I was like, okay. It was good, right? And he's like, it's fucked up. I'm like, it was good though, right? Right? It was good though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Okay. What am I fucking doing right now? Hmm. Well, that's why. It's the same with like a, a boy and his dog. Have you read that? Uh, I don't think I have. Do you know what it's about? I do know what it's about. I think you'll like it. Like reading it. It's just it's oh, just probably. really it's just really fucked up. Just over. <laughs> um, <clears throat> like for those who don't know, uh, uh, I mean, you, a lot of people might have heard of this fucking short story, but it's about a post-apocalyptic kid who walks around the like like wasteland with a psychic dog <clears throat> and the psychic dog uses him uh to get food like to find food because he can't he can't open cans right um but the kid can because he's got hands so what what the dog does is the dog uses the kid to find uh well he finds cans and he like cans of food and then he shares them with the kid while the kid opens them for him <clears throat> but the way he pays the kid in this symbiotic relationship is by finding him girls to like have sex with and then it gets really fucked up from there as to how they go about it. Anyway, that's a, I put the, the feet below the knees done. <laughs> they no, were I like, just... oh man, that sounds like a really fucked up like plot. Like, man, really these funny. fucking knees are a bitch to put together. <laughs> One thing's more important than the other, I have to say. True. That's true. One's fiction, one's reality. Those knees don't yeah, really like... exist. Those knees do not exist. True. You have no knees and you must bend them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine never? I have, never... I have no. I have no melanin and I must jump. <laughs> what? <laughs> you fuck! Say that shit. <laughs> shut the. <laughs> shut the fuck up! You're gonna get me kicked off of this goddamn platform. <laughs> You shut your whore fucking mouth and think for a moment before you open it. White man can't jump, I don't know. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> God, that's funny. <laughs> the name of a movie, Richard. No, I know. <laughs> I know, and it's a really good fucking basketball film. <laughs> so I fucking brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> but still. It's funny, <laughs> shut the fuck up. It is funny, it is objectively funny. No, I know, but fucking like the way you worded it is what is the problem here. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I don't know if that's TOS. There's no way that could possibly be TOS. We'll see. We'll see. If the channel's still around, then sure. If not, Chain owes me a channel. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking big got metal on me. You're gonna have to get like successful onto it. You're gonna have to like start streaming, get to like a, uh, <clears throat> uh, what what is it, affiliate level, and then give me your fucking channel, like as payback <laughs> for fucking losing me mine. <clears throat> God. Right, we can probably skip Metallic Monks now. Your mom's Metallic Monk. 
It's been 17 minutes. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, let's let that dry. Uh, all clear. Is this just going to be a sync, like just a, like an air raid signal? Can you imagine 30 minutes of that? I hope so. It's like, mm, just nonstop. All right. The air attack warning sounds like. <laughs> this is the sound. Yeah. No, that's from a I song called Two Tribes. Which you wouldn't know. Just gonna fucking listen to New Wave. No, why would I listen to New Wave? This is fucking incredible. Old Wave now. Uh, no, actually, it's still New Wave. Considering that there hasn't been anything like it in ages. Because it sucked. No, because they don't sell the synths anymore. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> And now, oh, yeah, and now, just said, what are you gonna do with it? You play music? No, if I do it, I'll break it. No, it's just people don't know how to use them anymore. Oh, the fucking, the big ones with all the plugs and shit. The ancient Yamahas from 1980. I know, <laughs> I know a couple of people who, who still use those. Yeah, because they're fucking good. IRL. Like, I mean. like literally, no sound can be replicated by them because of the unique like synth sounds that they have. They're fucking incredible. And here you are being a little bitch about it. Yeah, well, maybe they should. Maybe it shouldn't have died out. It didn't. It still exists. Hmm. Likely story. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Or do just trust me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> As if. <laughs> As if. Uh, they were doing snake impressions. Your mom's a snake impression. I mean, true. Nailed True. it. That's I, you just like, keep letting me get away with those. I mean, I, I personally do not care. She's a horrid yeah. excuse of like a carbon-based life form. Carbon-based life. I love how you can be specific about it. Well, yeah. so if she was a fucking. If she was like a, like a. a Helium-based <laughs> so life form. Same thing. Based life form. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. She'd be a horrid example of, of that too. She could be a lizard. She could be a fucking. She could be anything. She could be a rock for all I care. Be she'd still be a horrible example of it. A horrible <laughs> example of a rock. Yeah, of a mineral-based life form. Mineral based, yeah. <laughs> Pretty mineral based. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty Fiji water myself. Fucking yeah, my pH level's off the fucking charts, pal. Don't mess with me. <laughs> I'm sitting at a fucking eight point two right now, dude. Don't fuck with my pH level, bro. Don't, don't, fuck don't bring your bitch. don't bring don't bring your negativity on on like near me, bro. You're literally gonna throw my pH my pH vibes off. You throw my pH balance off, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a good insult that like a chick should give. <laughs> you throw my pH balance off, dude. Yeah. Like if a chick told that to a dude, one they wouldn't understand it, uh, but two, it would be like a really good burn for those that do That's understand. <laughs> I'm gonna say sour later. <laughs> because, of, uh, because of your fucking negativity, I'm gonna taste sour later. I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so fucking good. <laughs> Because <laughs> of you, I turned into a warhead. Literally. You literally turned me into a warhead. I want a war I want warheads right now. Uh yeah, I bet you do, pal. Do I love sour candy? <clears throat> yeah, I bet you do. Okay, let's start hold on, let's start with this one. Um, this goes on uh, this way. That's just the wrong fucking link to start with. I don't think so. No, I did not. Okay. So now, uh, where are you? this part goes in like this. Is this even in the way? Yeah, so now this goes up here. Hmm, like this. 
And now we can close it and I get to paint this fucking leg. It'll be so worth it once I actually have a... Once I actually start weathering this thing and I clear coat it and stuff. Hmm. You alright? Yeah, I'm fucking... Still reeling over the PH thing? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like what I'm, what I'm doing next. Yeah, good luck. I know. Good luck with that. Hmm. <clears throat> Peak music right here. It's pretty good. Like TBH. Like people who say that music is just bleeps and bloops have never heard the Fallout 1 soundtrack. They would find they would find that it's also like skip and skabops. And other scat sounds. Skibbity boo bops. Skibbity boo bops? Yeah. Damn. You hear that in the Fallout soundtrack. You know Scatman John did most of like the Fallout 3 soundtrack? No, if he did, he would have fucking that game would have been infinitely like better than it is right now. Would have been infinitely worse. Scatman John? Yeah, if Scatman John was Scatman John's fucking great. Yeah, but it would have been infinitely worse. Hmm. What do you mean? If, well if he would have done if, if he would have done the soundtrack for uh, Fallout New Vegas, it would have been infinitely worse. Because New Vegas has some, like, bangers. New Vegas does have bangers. Like, Big Iron is, like, a classic. I skip it every time. Do you? I've heard it live. I've heard it so many times. That and Johnny Guitar. I can't fucking stand Johnny Guitar. Johnny oh, my God. I, I literally have a mod that deletes Johnny Guitar from the radio. <laughs> I can't say I hate that song. I genuinely hate that song. I actually got sick of listening to that music a lot that I went into the actual game files because <clears throat> I, I looked it up I'm like oh how can you replace these songs in Fallout New Vegas and it's like oh you can replace uh, you have to replace them individually you can't add songs to it so what I did was I made like I made like an hour long like city pop mix and I made like 14 of those and I just replaced each song with that so you would hear like the radio and they'd be like and now here comes Johnny Guitar and then we have like Toshiki Karamatsu's like fucking like funky ass like just city pop <clears throat> and it would be like an hour long song and I would have to be really fucking careful because it would cause crashes in the game because it would have the way though as far as I understand with the way the, the way the game works is let's say I save while the radio is playing and it's 30 minutes into the hour long uh, track. If I load the game has hmm. to load and then skip ahead to those 30 minutes. That is funny. And that would take forever, and sometimes it would cause Ooh. the game to crash. Almost done. Just gotta build the head, though. I got the legs and the arms. Just gotta build the head. No head? Or, no, literally only head. Literally no head. Literally only head. Right, right now, on. literally no head. Only head? Fuck, where'd I put that? Mm. Hold on. Alright, we're almost done with what I need to paint. So we need this bottom joint, and this should be the last thing before we oh. have the left leg. So we're almost there. <clears throat> That's the only reason this kit... We would have been done with this kit an hour and a half ago. Uh, if I was just like, clip, 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 and like, going through this. <clears throat> Alright, so A1, number 1 and 2. Number 15. Oh, it's 1 and 25. Fuck, oh, hold on. I gotta find something. Hmm. One and twenty-five, which is over here. I almost cut this, which would have been horrible. It would have been the actual like part that go that slides into the leg and holds it in place. Oh good. <clears throat> yeah, it would have been would have been wonderful. Oh, I found you, son of a bitch. I thought I lost the the headpiece, but I found it. Did you find the fucking polycap that you dropped ages ago? Yeah, I did. Very good. Cool thing is about uh, about the Love Love kits, these head pieces are already painted. Where's Neat. Oh, that's fucking sick. That would be a bitch to paint. You see how tiny yep. that shit is in your fucking giant ass bass playing fingers? The fucking... The green eye mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. barely visible. Yeah, I, but couldn't, it's there. I couldn't see that. 
it's the detail for the eyes are very are, to be accurate they just give you they, they just uh hold on let me fix my hair again they just give it to you fully painted they're like here you go we're not we're not even gonna bother with these stickers just paint we're just gonna paint it but does the does the head cry do the eyes cry when they hear johnny guitar god i fucking hate that song <laughs> <laughs> oh god if i ever go pick you up that's what i'm gonna be blasting Oh, just that watch, big, me fucking, uh, watch me fucking dig my hand and touch your battery <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to get to it first bitch i'm gonna strap i'm fucking... gonna strap you down because i know you would you you'll behave like a fucking rabid wolverine that no, has just been like no, cornered no. if i ever yeah. get you in a vehicle so i would have to like i would have to like quintuple seatbelt you down <laughs> and then just blast shawnee guitar no. You'd be like, no, 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 no. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, that'd be fucking funny. Man. It'd be like Guantanamo Bay. Just for you. Oh, well, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little, yeah, a little bit. It's a little like Guantanamo Bay. Not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit, Shane. Just a little bit. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't remember if I told you, but um, when I first ordered um, like these Gundam markers, um, they didn't arrive. Uh, they got marked as delivered, and didn't arrive. And usually when that happens, it's like, oh, okay, well, the fucking you know the post office fucked up. It's only happened like twice before. It's like it'll it'll it should be delivered maybe tomorrow, you know. It's, it's happened to me before. It's no big deal. So, mm. um, I checked the following day. Uh, nothing. I'm like, okay. So, I, you know, go to Amazon. I'm like, hey, by the way, package didn't, didn't arrive. Say it was delivered. They're like, oh, okay. Well, look, give it until this date, which was like, because this was the weekend. It's like, give it until like Monday. If it hasn't arrived, uh, we'll give you a refund. I'm like, cool. So, in the meantime, I ordered just another set. Because I'm like, these, these are not going to fucking arrive. So I ordered another set in the meantime. I'm like, cool. Like if they arrive for some fucking reason, like they arrive, right? But if they don't, then too bad. So <clears throat> I give it till Monday. Fucking markers don't arrive. I'm like, all right, fine. It's a good thing I already ordered like replacement ones. So <clears throat> when I went to pick up my Night Gundam that arrived, this is like a month later. This happened mm -hmm. last week, or this was last week actually. Um, actually, what day is it today? Saturday? This happened yes. Wednesday. This is Wednesday of, of this week. Um, and the, the Gundam, the marker thing happened last month. Um, I go to pick up my, I go, I go to like check my mail and stuff. Uh, and then I see that I've got like, you know, a key for my parcel locker. I'm like, okay, cool. So something got delivered to it. it it's gotta be the, the Gundam, right? Uh, the Night Gundam. And then I open it up. And it's a tiny ass box, and when I get home and open it, it's the fucking Gundam markers from a month ago. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What the fuck? So now I have two of these. And the I, I and I was thinking, I was like, man, I really don't want to buy another one to get a <laughs> to get another like gunmetal marker. So in a way, it's kind of like a, a blessing in disguise. It's generally cheaper just to buy the tub of paint. Y yeah, that's true. That is very true. I wish you would have told me that at first. Like, hey, just invest, just invest in acrylic paints. I don't even get the markers. You're like, no, nah, I get the markers. I, I mean, like, all right, cool. You could get them. All well, the markers are easy. I said the markers are great for detail painting. Yeah, they're like I wouldn't recommend them, but like if you need to, if you're first starting out, <laughs> there's no reason to drop like. There's no reason to drop like a couple hundred. Or like at least like a the a fifty amount. dollars on yeah. paint, yeah, yeah. Because when I got into gunpla, like I bought like a hundred dollars worth of paint, and I've been using that since. Like mm -hmm. I have not needed to get more paint. Not for sure. <clears throat> like uh, I mean the markers are not bad as is. Like they're just they're good for like the little things that I've used them for. But like mm -hmm. they they also have their limitations because it's like, oh well, man, I want to do this, this, and this, and I can't do it with just fucking markers. So now I'm like, and now I bought especially paint. like enamel markers. <clears throat> yeah. 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 So now I bought acrylic paints, and so now we're waiting on those, and then we're gonna have like again for this fucking thing that we're building right now, a um, a weathering stream. So I'm probably gonna we'll, we'll see how we fucking weather it. I've yet to uh, I guess we've yet to discuss that. Like how the fuck 
am I gonna weather this thing? After I coat it, then what? Just like started playing the paint? Um, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. It depends on what weathering stuff you have, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I would have to see it before like we start doing anything like that. Uh, well, I've got the real touch markers, and then I will have like just actual like acrylic paints that are like slightly darker in color if I need to go for those. I unfortunately have never used real touch markers. <clears throat> That's a shame for you. I don't need markers to do weathering. I I'll have like it, dry palettes. I'll, I'll give it a shot with the uh, the real touch because they're. I mean, they're, if they're good just as is, then fuck it. Well, I'll just use those. I mean, it should be fine. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I again, I use dry palettes and I mix them with water to create different effects. Like when I did the um, mm -hmm. my photons uh, scope dog. I did the I did all the rust with by mixing uh, the dry palettes with a little bit of like watered down brown paint. And mm -hmm. I let it like seep into the edges of the kit, and it like created like natural pockets of like textured rust. Mm -hmm. But like you can't do that with like a marker. No, I mean, I'm sure you could probably get a similar effect, but you can try. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, is this going in right? A twenty-two, a twenty-three. There it is. Okay, now we should skip this song. No, no. We're not even like halfway through it. Yeah. <clears throat> I should have probably stuck this in here first. What am I doing? Yeah, what am I doing? There we go. So, leg, and then this goes in this way. I feel so weird uh, holding things that are being held up by paint. Yeah. God, that's fine though. It's not as bad as Johnny Guitar's life. No? No comment? Uh, no, I don't even want to acknowledge that song exists anymore. Really? That bad? I hate that song. I really don't like that song. No Johnny Guitar? <laughs> nope. Unfortunate. Literally one of the biggest bangers. <laughs> it's like the saddest fucking song in the fucking album. That song fucking bangs, dude. Holy fuck. Johnny Guitar. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, my life has changed. Johnny Guitar's music changed my life. Oh, what am I what am I doing with this? Hold on. Oh, I'm being fucking dumb, dude. Uh, like this goes this way. Being fucking stupid right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna blame me being tired on this. Jesus fuck, dude. Oh. Come on, Barbados, you crappy kit. There we go. I was trying to fucking put it here in the knee for some reason. I was like, oh yeah, it goes there, right? No, fuck, it doesn't go there. I'm about to get the fucking knee piece. Is there your dog going ape again? He's like, because he thinks no one's going. What a sad realization. Wait till he finds out that no one's home. Yeah, basically. What am I? I'm just mere entity. Entity. He's like waiting for your sister to get home. Basically. She never left. <laughs> Imagine. Ooh. What the fuck are you supposed to put these pieces in? Oh, I see. Hmm. Biggest little city in the world. Huh. That's Nevada. Or that's in Nevada. That's in that's Reno. Right, uh, Jave. See something. The Mojave what desert? Yeah, the Mojave. The Mojave, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the Mojave Desert. Probably one of the most iconic. <laughs> you fucking imagine some person's like, "Oh, yo, where are we at? Oh, we're driving past the the Mojave." Like, "Oh, yeah. dude, from Fallout." <laughs> Whoa, holy shit! A real location. <laughs> That's that, oh, I know that from Fallout. My favorite, my fucking favorite, uh, like criticism of New Vegas is like, is like, how the fuck do like. There's nothing to do in the Mojave. It's just <laughs> desert. And I'm like, yeah, it's almost like it's just desert in the Mojave. <laughs> like, Look at Mojave like, IRL. 
What, what does go, it say right after? Yeah. What What is its full length like name? You have a desert. It's like, yeah. You don't say. Who would have fucking guessed, huh? Who would have Who would have assumed? Dare I say? Uh, this is B nine. So it should be this. B nine. Hmm. That's like fucking hilarious, dude. When like real life locations are used, and then people are like, "Oh my god, that's just like in so and so." Yeah, that's just like in my fucking. Um, it's just like in my Japanese novel. anime. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one. Fuck. I'm having a hard time with this piece. Damn! Once you actually get into fucking Metal Gear, you're gonna be like picking up all these references. I know. That'd be great. You can I, join I'm me for the streams. Excited. It'll be fun. Alright, let's find out what actual stickers go here so I know what to fucking paint. What colors to fucking paint them. So these are... Eight. So it's, uh... uh yeah, these. Alright, cool. So gunmetal. There we go. Hmm. Is it on the whole thing? Just the bottom. Just this. Hmm. I had to do, like, quite a bit of color correction on the lupus that I didn't know until I, I looked at it again. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, let me go over the panel lighting one more time. Uh, like, some of the spots that I might have missed. And I looked at the kid again, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm like, I missed a lot. Like, there was a lot of, like, that kid has blue. Like, you actually use, like, blue paint on it. Like, by the boosters, and I had no fucking clue. It's weird, isn't it? It is a weird-ass kit. If I would have followed the, the fucking, like, sticker, like, sheet or whatever, I would have known one to paint. I yeah, also look at the fucking. Hmm? They look at the color guides, unfortunately. We have to look up like reference yeah. images online for of the actual thing in the anime. Well, the fucking problem is that the fucking lupus is not in the anime. It is. It's just like I think it's late. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna fucking. It's like season two. Nah, I don't. I don't care enough about IBO to fucking watch. Like, like imagine, just, I mean, imagine, imagine, imagine sitting through one season. Dude, I tried. Uh, imagine sitting through one season. Now imagine sitting through two seasons of IBO. I, I would I not gonna lie. I would rather get waterboarded for like crimes I did not commit. Fuck yeah, dude! At least I get some amusement out of that. That's the that's the uh, that's the the real Guantanamo experience. <laughs> Ibo. Ibo, yeah. <laughs> Fuck! Come on. Can you fucking imagine? Like they like imagine Morty. torturing people with like shit anime. Like, imagine you commit a crime, and, like, to get a confession out of you, they force you to watch Naruto. They force you to watch High School of the Dead. Uh, well, I was gonna say Naruto, but yeah. High School of the Dead, too. That would also be really fucking bad. Only the filler episodes of Naruto. <laughs> so, like, a good 70% of the anime? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Like, we'll get that confession out of you, man. We're gonna make you watch Naruto. And then the person's like, oh, shit. Hell yeah. Give me that Naruto. That's just all the fucking filler episodes. There's nothing. No. There's nothing, nothing substantial has ever happened. Nothing. It's so boring. Why? It's the real Naruto experience. Literally nothing happens in the fucking anime. For 300 episodes or some shit. There we go. Here's the head. Oh, neat. He's got two little jet boosters coming out of his fucking skull. I believe they're cameras. Okay, I don't remember. I have, I have the, I literally have the lore book full Pull it up of right all now. Of the stuff. Pull it I up right now. Things. Open up the visual novel and go straight to the part where they talk about it. Book. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting it. My Death <laughs> art book. I was fucking my joking. My Galleon art book. All right. My Love Love Alternative con uh, Codex. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let me let me teach you a fucking lesson about about how TSFs are powered. Okay. You gonna learn me a fucking lesson? Teach you a lesson. You gonna learn me? Oh. <laughs> nope. Hmm. Here's the model numbers. Hey, you didn't even know that kid's like model number off the top of your head. Uh, they're just called TSFs. Yeah, but you don't know the model they, number. They, there's like literally three. 
there's like literally three variations of of tsfs and all the other ones are from way way far away from the, the mobile up timeline way way far away yeah, they're, very, it, they're pretty far away is, is that the actual like wording that they use well in the, it's like in the mobile years universe prior. Way, way far away, 40 years ago. They even go into how the jet propulsion system works. I don't know if you can even see this. Fuck, I have, like, no room to, to show this. Yeah, no, you can just read it, because there is no way. Yeah, no, that's like, that's well, how one, they, well, how one it's big... backwards. Two, it's too no, tiny to read. This is the only way I can show you, but they, they go into, like, the, the the detail they go into is so vast that they show you how jet propulsion works in the in the universe. It's funny, because Ghost in the Shell does that in the, uh, in the manga. Mm. And at the time when ghost in the shell was released uh or the manga was released it was like revolutionary and then like five years later it was all like proven wrong because science advanced mm -hmm. and it's like oh yeah by the way you're wrong it's like oh yeah okay. but the, the, the fact that it's explained at all in universe is it's, it's is fucking funny it's a creative it doesn't have to be right but no, as no, long no, as it's, it's just explained, it's cool it adds more depth to it yeah it's cool. Uh, like, absolutely, for... there's no way that these jet propulsion systems would ever work in real life. But the fact that they go into that much detail is just interesting to me. Imagine you read a fucking physics book once and then you end up doing shit like this. Fucking mm -hmm. nerds, man. But that's this like the what... level of detail I go into in my novel. That's, that's just like how the Japanese are. It's like overall. The amount the... of mechanical detail that I have in my novel is ridiculous. I had to tone it down because <clears> if I... At the going, It'd be a physics it book. Fucking, it would literally be a physics book in space. Oh man! If I'm only trying to find would... the exact, I'm trying to find the exact model of TSF, um, that my kit is. I think it's like the Eagle. What is it? The the text is upside down. God damn it! Oh, isn't it the GSB? Uh, Cerberus. No, no, no. Cerberus the... Battalion. No, that the uh, one that the one that you're working on is a GSB. It's the EF two thousand. No, it's the it's model GSB. Get some fucking bitches, you fucking geek. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where is it? Did I pass it? Oh, I'm getting close. What is this? EF two. This is EF two thousand. But this is not. Oh, this is the model. Okay, so. Mm. So realize this is like super low. All right, I'm on. I'm on the page here. There we go. This is a European fighter, third generation mainline TSF in the, of the European Union in 1978. With the failure of Operation, uh, can't read that word. Uh, probably something really interesting that someone stole from like a, a, a Latin book. I'm ninety percent. It's, it's German. Uh, P A L A I O or Paleo Logos. Uh, type it out and then send it to, uh, on Discord. I can read yeah, it. Yeah, one sec. It might be Greek for all we fucking know at this point. <clears throat> I don't know how to fucking pronounce that word. Oh, I'll check it right now. There it is. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Paleologos. Paleologos, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Operation Paleologos. Mm. No idea what that means. Mm, probably uh, not Latin, and if it is, I... Not sure. It, it probably is the, just like actually Spanish at this point. The beta's westward I'm advance into Europe Spanish. became certain. Uh, NATO member states, including the UK, West Germany, and France, agreed to collaboratively develop a new TSF that would succeed their mainline TSFs, which at the time were the F-4 Phantom and F-5 Freedom Fighter licensed productions, such as the Tornado and Mirage. In 1980, the development commenced under the EC, um, EC STF, European Combat Tactical Surface Fighter Program. The abbreviated previously program provided or promised a rather rapid bolstering of the front line and sought completion by 1985 their focus was on lessons from the operation poly logos what was needed was the ability to conduct long distance invasion to reach a hive as well as increases the mobility and maneuverability in order to dodge laser attacks and increase capabilities in dense and close quarters dog fighting within hive interiors. Coincidentally, these specifications mirrored those of the F-15 Eagle, which is why I was confused, uh, which was being developed at the same time by the Americans. Um, while marketing of the F-15 Eagle by the US was gaining momentum, as if taking advantage of the, the situation, the UK had essentially been left off, had been left at the sole developing country after the European continent had fallen. Because they were they were attached to the mainland of Europe, so they survived basically. Mm. Uh, however, uh, let's see. 
development progressed smoothly in 1998, they went to mass production model, which is the type I'm building right now, which is the, known as the Typhoon. Third generation. Typhoon or Typhon? Typhoon. Okay. Uh, head, shoulders, and forearms act, in particular act as support devices for the aerodynamic craft control as well as close quarters attacks. The reason why TSFs have huge fucking heavy shoulders and their legs are really spindly is because all of the weight is in bolstering the armor around all the important sensors mm. and the shoulders act as uh, balancing weights for high maneuverability. It's literally just like to counterbalance. Mm -hmm. they're, 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 they're only there to counterbalance. Actually, you can, it's easier to see if I pulled up my other TSF, which is the Shia Nui, which is my personal favorite design. Um, Sounds but, familiar. Shia Nui. Shia Nui. Shia yeah, it's, it's blue. I can probably pull that up a bit. It doesn't model that mean third generation. Its jump height is 19 meters. 19.6 meters. I think that's less than the Gespenched from Super Robot Wars. Mm. And those are just gliding like models. Sub arms. No, it doesn't go. It doesn't go into what the the things on the heads are. I still assume they're camera units. Hmm. So much for a lore book, am I right, boys? I'm sure it goes into it somewhere. So it's, much like, for a lore here's, book. Here's how the here's how the ammunition works. Here's how Bernie can still win. Like literally, it goes oh. into different types of anim ammunition and how they work. Depleted and, uranium. Like, uh, no, that's my that's my novel. Oh, okay. Um, it's like this is like how many bullets can you stack in a magazine? Uh, fuck, that's how many. <laughs> Just a fucking Jesus fuck. They can't give you a number. Amount of ammunition. They're not gonna give you a number. They're just like yeah, a fuck ton. So there's high velocity armor piercing, depleted uranium, uh, obviously, which is just like the bullet. Um, incendiary tracer, 120 millimeter magazine. Uh, they're like the basically the grenade launcher attachments. There's a mm. there's a buckshot grenade launcher, high explosion squash head, fin. They have like all the different gun designs, all the different melee weapons, how they move, and how everything mechanically works. This is this is this book is the reason why I'm going into so much detail about how shit works in my novel because I think it's fucking fascinating. No, dude, like I, like I said, when it came to like Ghost in the Show, literally like you would have like uh, uh, the sergeant in the middle of the fucking screen and literally behind her would be walls of text and like physics equations Here's the cockpit That's pretty neat Did you already build that? Uh, yeah, I wish that the cockpit opened to be honest. That'd be fucking cool it's... The other cool thing is that the cockpit controls turn into um, the, the cockpit controls turn into a, an exosuit for when you leave your back Hmm Located within the uh, the waste unit of every single TSF is a high velocity nuclear explosive, so that you don't get taken and captured by the beta. You're supposed to kill yourself like before anything bad happens to you, to take out as many as possible. Jesus fuck, dude. Because the because the life expectancy of a TSF pilot is about eight minutes, minutes on the combat field. Yeah. Every single TSF is loaded with a high like a high uh, high high reward fucking nuclear device. It is like the it's like oh you got overwhelmed your team's about to get fucking uh your team's about to get fucking wiped out kill yourself literally blow up your mech just blow just it wipe up, out yeah. as many beta, literally wipe out as many beta as possible so that the next time they come like the the people behind you have a little bit more of a fighting chance destroy as it's many great. redditors as you can before coming back literally it's like literally like if it, like let's let's bring this back to fallout it's like if in fallout you were like the like you were like one of the only people left in your fucking surviving village or whatever and raiders kept yeah. showing up and wiping out villages around you like it would be like strapping a bomb collar full of like new like fat men uh bombs or whatever and yeah. just walking out into the middle of a field and blowing up a shit ton of raiders it's like this is your last resort to do it or get captured and you don't want to get captured by the beta they will torture you well yeah dude i mean you, you seen what redditors like fucking talk about Literally. I would not want to get captured by fucking redditors, dude. I don't want to get captured they by redditors. They would bore redditor, me right? to death, literally. Being captured by a redditor is my worst nightmare. Mm -hmm. I, I would, I would prefer to get captured by a real redditor, like the ones from the Roman fucking Empire. At least those guys would end up killing you with a sword. Actual redditors would like, or modern day redditors, they would literally just talk to you about fucking Star Wars until you fucking blew your head off yourself. <laughs> 
I'd be like, we're gonna give you a gun. You can use that later. First, we're gonna talk about Star Wars for a good 50 hours. At that, at that point, I'd be like, give me the gun now. G give it to me now. I don't want to suffer. In innocently. Let's see, this goes... Just the one that... There we go. <clears throat> so this would be up this way. Like that. Huh. There we go. Now we have... This one, like this. I'm so lucky there's a bunch of shit that I don't have to paint with gunmetal, but we're, we're nearing the end. After this, it's going to be like warp speed. And mind you, normally I take like my time with these fucking kits, but like... God, this would be like building an RX-78. Oh my god, fucking... <laughs> a fit, uh, I forgot that like... An official source had said fucking... Had like official like Gundam writers. Uh... Especially Tomino, like it's like this is I think it was a quote from Tomino. Basically, he said Okada-san and uh, Tatsuyuki-san had mentioned that Gundam IBO technology has degraded so much that even a standard RGM uh, 79 can kill it using non-beam weapons. As a GM 79S is more than enough to take down the Lupus Rex. We did not want to make the mobile suits in IBO too powerful, and so they were made to be more adaptive. No, people seem to overestimate UC Tech and how well, uh, how a well-rounded, modded suit can go far. I mean, yes, it like technically being more adaptable is that would in mean a book? that they just ran. Or is that no, from a that's post? not. It's from fucking. It's from like an interview that Tomino did. Yeah, no, I've seen that. It's been uh, that's that's been rumored to just be like a fake post. But I know I what you're talking it, about. I hope it's real. Uh, I hope so. Them. I hope so too. It's just funny. Like it pisses off IBO fans a lot more. The the like the, the the fucking I put the... this on backwards. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be a nightmare to take apart. Uh wait, where's my guitar pick? Here we go. What part am I building next? Oh, is it the torso? Oh I am building the torso next. Fuck yeah. Yeah, no, but that's fucking funny. Like if, if true, that's hilarious. It, big if true. Yeah. This is goddamn dude, um... like like, like we we've we've talked about it before. Like again with the other uh, with the Gundam Barbados Lupus uh, stream that I did. But IBO fans can be some of the most obnoxious motherfuckers on the planet. I love I love Mecha. I hate Mecha except for IBO and Gurren Lagon. That Code Geass. Um, also, uh, eighty six. Eighty six is fucking great though. I've never seen it. I just know that that's 80. one of the ones that they fucking rep, that they always talk about. 86 is barely mecha though. It's more like armored vehicles, but it that's technically a, is yeah. mecha. I mean, I, I, saw, count, I saw some if of you it. Count, if, you, if you count fucking armored spiders as mecha, which I do, then yes it is. I fucking love it. It's really good. I want, I want some of the model kits from it, to be honest. Yeah, well, what I mean is that like, that's like the only things that they've seen. It's like that, it's like Gurren Lagan, IBO, like that's it. Where is it? Gundam Seed. God, if you see Gun Gundam Seed and you fucking think that's a peak mech, you should probably die. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good. It's uh, not I mean, even close to peak I can't mech. condone it. I can't condone your words, but true. <laughs> I'm not Believe saying I condone them. Person, yes. I'm not saying I condone them. It's just like true, but you know. Hold it down a bit. No. Hey, we don't, <laughs> don't want me to get kicked off this fucking platform. True. Who knows what my intentions are? True. That's true. That's true. I know you always have my best interest in mind, right? I I have four interests, and all of them are you. Oh, the letter U. Uh, you, you, and you also have, you. The person. Okay, well, there we go. I went back to normal. I was like, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> This totally My dog's fucking, fucking screaming. Goes nuts. Oh. Should probably go fucking talk to him for a bit, see how he's doing. You could. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. Did you hear him? He yeah. enjoys being alone. <laughs> I don't know if you're being sadistic. Or if that's just like, because you know your dog better than I do. Obviously. 
So, I mean, for all I know, you could be telling the truth. Even if I walk out there and I fucking go say hi to him right now, he will just say, like, whatever, bitch, and then fucking leave. Like, he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I will do it, like, when I'm done with these two joints right now. He's just being dramatic. He's being dramatic. He, he, he just wants, he just likes to be a lone wolf. A lone fucking mutt. Yeah, what breed was he again? I don't know. <laughs> he's just a mutt. He's a little fucking, he's a dosh hound mix, but that's all about, that's about as much as I can confirm. Mm. The rest of it's like, whatever, who knows? It's a little fucking, he's a little gremlin. <laughs> Don't feed him past midnight. No, you don't, or else you fucking vomit on the floor or something. <laughs> True. True, though. God damn. I forgot about that. Man, dogs would be real fucking gross sometimes. I know. Alright, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm also gonna fucking talk to my dog. For like, right. ten, like, not even ten minutes, like maybe five minutes. Okay. You can just say I'll be right back. It's like, like that's good enough. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> I completely forgot that dogs do shit like that, where they just like, they'll just vomit for no reason. Well, not for no reason, right? But like, <laughs> if you feed them, if you feed them past midnight, it was fucking. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Uh hold on. Uh Alright. <clears throat> Let's actually skip the song. It's been twenty six minutes. Yeah, it's good enough. Alright. So because we're almost up with this leg, and like I said, we just need like this is like the last bit of like Met like uh, stuff that I'm gonna be painting in gunmetal. Um, got this, we just need the orb, and then that should be essentially the end, except for this little bit on the other leg. So let's get this dome built. Hmm, so that'll be one, it's 124, and then PC6. So these two. Let me also lower this a tiny bit. There we go. That's good. Hmm. All right. Uh, so it's one. Four. Again, I almost fucking cut this, which is what goes into the fucking leg. That would have been horrible. And I would have to spend like 10 bucks getting another one of these kits. Uh, let's see other. Six. Just this one. Mm. Yeah, this really was a really good choice for a um, hmm, for a soundtrack, or well, like for background music. It's fucking. Like, the whole thing that we were gonna go for is, like, since IBO takes place on fucking Mars, like, why not go with a, a soundtrack where it's literally a desert? And that's what we've been doing. But alright, we're almost in with this fucking kit. Once, like I said, uh, once we're done with this kit, like, building it, <clears throat> like, that's basically it for the stream. Uh, but later on next week, I'll be getting, um, some of the coatings as well as well some of the paints that way we can get the shit uh painted and prepared and then we'll do an actual weathering stream as this is just the preparation for the weathering so that i can't wait for that'll be a lot of fun i at least i hope uh that way we can actually make uh the barbados look normal Hmm, or normal-ish. Hmm, and I'll try my best not to over, uh, over weather it, and not fall into that uh, that fucking trap. Hmm, because then I'd be eating my own fucking words. 
Okay, let's get the gun metal on. Now again, in some parts you might have seen me uh, make some slight mistakes. By mistakes, I mean like painting over. Um, that doesn't matter with these types of paints because you can just scrape it off. And uh, again, I I've talked about this on, on every other stream whenever we talk about painting or talk about detailing. But when it comes to the actual detailing portion, you don't have to worry too much. You can be a little liberal with your um with your painting same with like uh with panel lining you don't have to worry too much about being perfect I mean, you can try if you want to but in some cases you really don't need to or in most cases you really don't need to um because here for example if you look at this that got messed up right there you can see the smudge right on the white so actually what i was going to do is let me get toothpicks real quick hmm. give me like a second Because it should be dry enough by this point. <clears throat> if you ever do go over and you are using like Gundam markers, for example, or paints overall, once it's been a while, usually like 15 minutes or so, it's technically like five, but uh, if you want to be safe, <clears throat> you can wait a little bit longer. And then if you look here, for example, we've got this little bit right there. So if I just start going at it with the toothpick, It seems like it was smudge like it was smudging for a sec, but it's gone. So <clears throat> you just have to be just be a little forceful, not too much, but a tiny bit in the corners here. <clears throat> that way you're able to get any of the excess paint off. Because the only other way to do this would be to use like paint thinner <laughs> and that'll just fuck up your kit uh due to the like chemical uh <clears throat> chemical content of the actual uh paint thinner which literally will like destroy your plastic so i advise against it hmm. of course the best course of action is just don't fuck up when doing this but you don't have to worry if you do fuck up um, if for some reason you don't have toothpicks, you can technically scrape this off with your hobby knife or with your tweezers. Uh, just be careful. Cause like you can use this, like the flat side of this, um, like if I want like right here. And there it is. So this little corner is now like spoofed out. So like I said, you could do that. Uh, <clears throat> just be very fucking careful. Uh, sometimes I do prefer to use this over the toothpick, just in some little areas. Because <clears throat> this thing is wider, like this little, the part of the blade is wider. So it does allow me for, or it does allow me more coverage. Like that. Just a wee bit. Uh, same with like here, for example. There we go. Look right here, there was like a little bit of extra gunmetal. There's still a tiny bit, but most of it's gone now. And there we go. And then we just have like really shiny legs. <clears throat> cool. Uh, did I fuck up here while I'm at it? Sorry, Mac. Yeah, welcome back. I had to let my dog out. <clears throat> I let my dog out and I brought him into my room. And then he was like, hmm, time to go sniff at the door again, even though he knows that no one's home. True. True, true. <laughs> you hate him. I hate him. You hate him. I hate him. I despise Where's your I despise cat him. now, actually? Uh, he's probably sleeping in my mom's room. Hmm. Like, 
He's a mama's boy. Because the rent in where I live is fucking expensive and I can't afford to move out even if I wanted to. Yeah. It's like, dude, it's like 1700 a month for a one bedroom apartment. That sounds fucking shitty. Yeah. Wait till inflation gets yeah. worse. Mm, I know. That's why I'm stuck here. Even if I was like, even if I moved out, I would have to have four people to afford a one a, a one bedroom apartment. Don't worry, Shane. I like, I'll I'd get you out money, But I wouldn't be able to pay for food or like utilities or whatever. Did you fucking hear that? Uh, I don't know if you saw this, but uh, there was like an internal like document from Arby's that leaked. Did you hear about that? Yeah. No, I didn't. So essentially, uh, it was like a one like one page of it got leaked. And it was essentially saying how like this uh this current inflation that we have is fucking wonderful because just like how people right now are are unable to you know make ends meet uh in, in mm. most cases they're like kind of like you in the situation where um let's say they earn i don't know uh 15 18 bucks an hour uh and then like 90 percent of their paycheck goes to bills and then they only have like a hundred or so left over for like personal stuff it, mm -hmm. it, so due to the inflation increasing, it'll get to the point where they will have like even less of their paycheck uh, going to like personal stuff for savings and shit, and it'll all be going to you know bills and stuff. And because of that, the they're never gonna run out of people seeking employment. Yeah, and they're fucking happy about it. And I'm just like, man, that is so fucked. Yeah, it's corporate. It's not, they don't even have good food there either. No. Do they, they, they have they, they have curly fries. Do they? I, I've never been to. Sorry, it's not Arby's. Applebee's. Oh fuck no! Not a, definitely not Applebee's. Yeah, Applebee's is what I meant. I'm sorry. Here I'm like tarnishing fucking Arby's like good name. You're like <laughs> you're just like fuck them. They've got they only have good curly fries. They I still I still stand behind that statement. I, I do not know. retract that. I, I've I've only had like Arby's like once. We had like one open up in my town and everyone went nuts. I will stand by the statement. My curly fries are the only good thing on the menu. Oh, that's because you're not on it. I'm. Yeah, I cannot be eaten. <laughs> not legally, anyways. True. That's true. <clears throat> Mine's of the uh. Of the one like was it German? Or were they French that actually got away with cannibalism? Sure. Uh, they didn't get away with it. They they, they got arrested, but they became famous because of it later on. It was German. Yeah. They yeah. did not get away with it. <laughs> Fucking like some they, they died even though it was all on paper legal. No, it wasn't. They're like no, sorry. <laughs> you can't avoid that law. Uh, no, can't, you're proving that's a little rough, Chief. I don't think so. Like hmm. Even though it was fully consensual. Consensual cannibalism? No, I don't know about that. I mean, it's yeah. still desecration. They, even if it was there, they would they would get you on desecration of a corpse. <laughs> desecration? <laughs> More like. I was trying to think of a I word. It. No. No, uh, it's not that. Um. I was gonna say yasification for some fucking reason. <laughs> my my prescription yas pills. <laughs> I yassified that corpse, you know? It is true. It is there's true. this, um... There's this fucking, uh... Like, super short video, it's like 10 seconds long, that I obsess over every now and again. Uh, and it's this chick who's like... I don't remember what the fuck she says exactly, it's something along the lines of like... Hmm, inflation? Hmm, that must suck. And then she grabs a, she's holding a Brad stall and she starts squeezing it and you hear the plastic like crumpling and she's just like, we need to make more of these. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> this is like the funniest shit ever. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me see if I can find it. Um, I'll, I'll play like the audio or some shit. Um, the audio. Yeah, the audio. Let's see. You're gonna pronounce it correctly. Yeah, the audio. Alright, let me find it. Uh. Where the fuck is it? 
This person I followed on Twitter had it like pinned. Um, wait, it's probably here. Hold on. Uh, it's, 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 it's. Oh, wait, is it here? No, hold on. Uh, oh, where the fuck is it? No, god damn it, I put this piece on the wrong way, it's gonna be impossible to get off. Oh, that 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 really must fucking suck. Uh use your base pick. My base pick is thick. It's nah man. Uh use your knife. I got it. I just ripped it off of my cutters. You got real fucking lucky that that shit didn't shatter. I know. Or snap in half. Or get cut in half. God, where the fuck is this video? It's so good. I should just download it for later. Actually, I think I might have it, like, downloaded. Let's see if I can find it on that way. This bit is taking way too long. It, it's literally like, me. it's like 10 seconds. And I'm like delaying the entire stream because of it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I found it. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, here, I'll just have it play. The government's running out of money. <laughs> that must stuck. I have a proposal. We need to make more of these. The government's running out of <laughs> <laughs> The way she just fucking squeezes the doll. We need to make more of these. <gasps> Alright, All right, I'm skipping this song too. So now it's industrial junk. <laughs> That's what they call your dick. Ouch. True. It's big ouchy. Big ouchy. Big ouchy. Big ouchy. Government's running out of money. <laughs> That must suck. We need to make more of these. That's me with like Gumbler. Honestly. <laughs> it's IBO fans with like Barbados kits. To make they need to make more of these. As if we don't have like 17,000 fuck. Dude, we, there is like 70 Barbados kits out there. Like, just yeah. of the fucking Barbados. Like, we don't need these many. Like, not even the RX-78 has that many. Okay, well, maybe not, but... Um, not even the Zaku-2 has that many. It does. Like, like, it really does. Not even the Gundam Wing has that many. That's better. <laughs> That's a better the Wing Gundam. The Wing Gundam does not have a lot of kits out. Yeah, Wing Gundam, not Gundam Wing. What am I saying? I think there's I think there's less kits in all of Gundam Wing than there are like Barbados kits. You're probably probably accurate. <laughs> you're like thinking about it, you're like, yeah, actually. I'd say that's ninety percent true. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Holy shit, that took fucking force to get in there. So the one thing about Kotobukiya, their kits are good, but like, man, they're not Bandai quality. They also don't have Bandai billions of dollars to make these kits either, so. Hmm. Yeah, like, I wanted to get a, uh, uh, Kotobukiya, uh, Gishbenched and a, uh, Hakabine from Super Robot Wars. Hmm. <clears throat> but one, there, it's an old kit. From, they're like, probably... from, like, 2008. Okay. And two, they're expensive as fuck. But I've never... I think this kit's about from like 2015, maybe because this kit's from Total Eclipse, I think. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure about that. Yeah, because I mean, I really wanted to get a Gespenst from a like a Gespenst kit. It would have been a, a Mark II, but like it was gonna be green. I fucking hate the Gespenst oh, yeah. in green. It looks really fucking gross. Like I, I don't like green like mechs. Uh, they look weird. 
Um, like Zaku's are different because they, they're meant to be like camo, right? So that's like fine. Uh, but like the Gespench looks really weird, at least in my opinion, in green. <clears throat> it looks better in the original black or the midnight blue or white or red or literally any other color that is not green. It's a part. Sorry, I'm fucking trying to focus on the weirdest build of my life. Is it really? It's kind of weird. You built Getter like last week, and this is the weirdest. Uh, the parts are really fucking complicated looking. Yeah, Getter was discern weird? whether. Yeah, well, Getter was easy to discern what parts go where. Like this one is not. Oh, true. Actually, yeah, you're right. That Getter was a lot of fun to build. It is very fun. Yeah. Which was the last stream that we did. Which is a vintage ghetto robo kit. Yeah, I guess like I guess like twenty years would be vintage. Yes, it is from two from the year two thousand. It is vintage. The fucking Sega Dreamcast is vintage. The Sega Dreamcast weird. is retro. Which it is, is retro. Weird. The PS two is vintage. It's going to re be retro pretty soon. No, the the PS two is also retro. Was it? Yeah. Hmm. It's fifteen years or more. Oh right, that's right. So that thing's already retro as fuck, which is weird. It's weird, man. Mm -hmm. We're getting ancient. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Time flies, huh? Like a banana. <clears throat> what? Time flies like a banana. No, it does not. The time doesn't fly like a banana. Time flies like bananas. No. Bananas are stationary. No. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Time flies. Like, flies is the insect. No. I'm sorry. Make better jokes next time. <laughs> it's not my fault you fucking missed it. It's not my fault that you make shitty-ass fucking jokes. Make, like, good stuff. Make actual comedy. Instead of whatever comedy. sad excuse of, like, verbiage that just was. Comedy is, is a subjective term. No, it's not. Hmm? No, There's it's no not. objective co in comedy. Yes, there is. There is objective comedy. Nope. Yes, there is. Tell me one fucking thing your pretentious little college brain has that's fucking objectively funny. Mitch Hedberg. I don't know who that is, so it doesn't count. You f you don't fucking know who Mitch Hedberg is? I don't. I don't, don't like comedy. Are you fucking serious? My God. You really are, like, uneducated. Why would I give a fuck about some dude? My god, you're, you're gonna be so fucking, like... You're, you're gonna be eating your fucking words in, like, 50 minutes after we finish the stream. Man, it's gonna, it's gonna take you 50 minutes to finish the fucking stream? Jesus. No, after the stream's over. Huh. Mm. Jesus fucking Christ, I can't believe you just uttered those words. Oh, is that where the color correction goes? What you're doing right now with the, the fucking... Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was wondering, did you have the stickers for that? Yeah, but I could just do them in gunmetal. Uh-oh. Network is... Network error. Uh, oh, God. It's all my stumbled. end. It's on my end. Yeah. It's always on your fucking end. All right, let's shove this leg in. And I need the polycap for this, which is... Seventh. We've had a little marital spat. <laughs> I'm still I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm building. I know I'm technically building the torso, but I don't know what the fuck I'm building. <laughs> like it, it says torso, but fuck me, dude. I like this shit's. I don't know what parts the torso, what parts not the torso. That, I'm basically what? almost done though. What kind of a sentence is that? Because it's like, like it's like the torso. Tell me what but, part of the torso this part is. Uh, oh, shoulder. No. Shoulder blade. No, yeah. I already have the shoulders. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, oh. It is the back 
right chest piece. Nope. Like, like for, or sorry, for, sorry, it's, it's, uh, it's what holds the waist on the right side. Nope. Yeah. No, it is not. Yeah, it is. It's not. Your little pea brain can't fucking see it, but it's okay. It is, it is the lower chest. That's what I just said. No, you said the, on the right side. No, it is the entire lower chest. Oh, well, never mind. That was close. Maybe. Yeah, that was close. You don't know what to build? <laughs> that must suck. Just, none of these pieces are like ergonomic. Makes sense ergonomically, but I've also only built Gundam. I built like a majority only Gundam suits. So. It's funny because most of the kits that I've built, like I've built a huge variety of kits so far. Considering my it's repertoire, hard a, it's hard to get a hold of kits that aren't from Gundam. Most of the time, I'll just end up buying a figure because, like, getting a hold of a kit from a, a series that isn't from Gundam is like a nightmare. Yeah, well, it's either a nightmare or fuck the kit sucks. Yeah, or it's super expensive, go, and it's go. just like better to buy the figure. Yeah, most of the time, that's that's generally the case. That's a that's a thing with like Dumbine that I mentioned a bit ago. There, like the Dumbine kit that I that I mentioned, the Master Grade is really good. The High Grade sucks. But then you have the Serb, uh, the Serb, uh, Serbine, which is a really good kit, and it looks really fucking good. It's like, man, I want to build that. Alright, let me check this. Yes, that's here. So now we just shove this in. Like so. There we go. Now the other one. We're just like really in the plastic right now. Fucking knee deep in the plastic. Just both, yeah. <laughs> just both focusing. Oh, fuck. oh I see. <clears throat> right. Yeah, that goes. There we go. I think the paint came off the back wires as I was fucking like manhandling this a bit ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah. That's why I never paint on runners. I wasn't painting on the runners. This is after like it was already attached to the leg. Damn bitch. Oh yeah, those pieces I painted gold. I thought it looked cool. Oh, that would that would be even more of a nightmare to do, like in gold. Yep. Yep. Like my fingers, I would just look like Midas by the end of the fucking stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a classic literature joke for some of you. Not in the audience. <laughs> and that was the sound of like a pig being sacrificed. Yeah, the pig is a. Uh... True. True. Um. Mm. No, you, you can't own me with facts. Like that's just the that's just like true. Facts and logic, hypothetically. Yeah, hypothetically. Hypothetically, if I was able to own you with facts and logic. Then you'd be a better man than I. Which I highly doubt, by the way. Alright, there we go. So now let's start going at this with the fucking toothpick. Mm. I, I wish I could hold this up higher to the camera, but unfortunately I need like all the force. Right. Well, I mean, it makes it easier to just, like, apply a bunch of force to, like, the table instead of, like, holding this up and then fucking it up. Oh, no. Shit. Uh, uh, we're still good. We're still good. Um, like, it's easier than me doing it, like, up here and, like, having, like, nowhere to really, like, rest my hand upon. Uh, yeah, no, that's just, like, a nightmare. Uh, nothing in the back. Nothing in the front. We're good. All right. We're almost done. Literally almost done. The last fucking bit that I need is the is the fucking head. I am. 
I'm almost on the torso. Wait, when, where's the fucking waist? I haven't done the waist. Ah, oh, fuck. How did I skip the entire waist? No, seriously, how? Liter I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Literally. Literally, how did I do? Where, where the f is the waist coming up? The waist is coming up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck did I skip this? No, it's it's coming. No worries. False alarm. False alarm. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, well, there's nothing that I need to like paint here, so we're good. So this shouldn't take too long. All right. Hmm. This probably is gonna be the last IBO kit I ever fucking built. God damn. I really don't like building these kits. But it was either this or an RX-78. Which at this point, I'm kind of like, I should just take an RX-78. Sounds like you're kind of a beta cuck. You would know. Yes. There we go. There are the arms. Let's mm. take the torso. Oh, right. At the fucking... I'm done with this plastic now. Yeah, one more. God, I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do when I have to build the fucking X here. <clears throat> oh, the, you're gonna have a, uh, I, you're not gonna have a good time. The Quanta, uh, it's gonna be. Uh, uh, no. You're really not gonna have a good time. Uh, really? Mhm. Mm Damn. <laughs> it's you're gonna touch it and it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> It'll be the first time. I guess. Yeah, you're gonna have to experience a terrible kit once. Uh, I mean, I'm already building a terrible kit. <laughs> no, but I mean like a really, a truly awful kit. Mm. Like a, like, like yours is a high grade. At least a high grade is like easier to manage. Mm. Like this thing is like building, like the real grades are like building things with tiny fucking pieces the size of your finger, like fingernails, like, or the, the like all the time i mean you just, just you're just a, saying that because you have problems because you got fat fucking fingers i'm saying that because everyone has that problem no i'm kidding yeah i know it's it's so like even like even now if i touch my if i touch my real grade that, that i build on stream if i touch that thing it will fall apart i literally posed it once and i threw it on my shelf and that was it <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm not looking forward to that like i'm really not but I did want to. Uh, it was either that or get a high grade one. High grades are not bad. I mean, they're they're not detailed, but you, you have to paint a lot. But they're not the worst. Uh, I know. I should have just gotten the high grade Axia. I don't even care about the fucking like, uh, like the blades or whatever. I, I kind of prefer the like steel like blade that it that it's got originally. Mm hmm. <clears throat> but the Quanta is like once it goes Trans Am and shit. I don't even know why the fuck they call it that. I don't know. Like they really like Pontiac. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Who designed the system? It's like the head of GM. <laughs> Can we put VTech in here? That's not even the right fucking country, dude. I don't give a fuck. Like, come on. Like, why bring shitty Hondas into this? <laughs> Literally the worst fucking like car manufacturer on the planet. You bring it into this fucking discussion of like the Trans Am. Can I get my Can I get my V Tech in my my Gundam? <laughs> yeah, that's what the fucking Phoenix is powered by. <laughs> New type and and V Tech. <laughs> so might as well be. It might as well be powered by the like souls of like the dead. <laughs> All right, let's get in the song now. The souls of the dead. All right, flame of the Maybe ancient like... world. Jeez. Oh, oh, dude, me. Same. OMG, me. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's speed. Uh, the skirt pieces. All right, cool. So now I gotta fill in the skirt, and we gotta cut the skirt in half. Where are you at? Right here. What I can't wait oh, for is building a uh, Machine Kaiser. That's gonna be a fun one. 
Because I have no oh, idea, dude. like, how... Uh, well, I know the kid is good. And the kid has, like, some transparent uh, parts for, like, the breast fire. So that's going to be an interesting kit to build on stream. These are pieces. If the right? shoulder units come on really easily. So how many kits do you have in your backlog still? I think just one more after this. And then the uh, the master grid I was building one stream ago. Man. I think you had like 30 or some shit. I ran through most of them. Damn, just building them here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's been fun though. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking the torso. Ooh. Neat. The build the waste unit now. Hmm. Mm. You know, just building gunplay with the homies. Thankfully, the waste unit seems to be pretty easy. Oh, okay. You just fucking ignore me, bitch. I will. I literally will. I have no. I have no qualms with ignoring you. Okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> they were gonna be ignoring me, bitch. Yeah, here you yeah. are, crawling back, trying to insult me. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Remember your place, you fucking whore. Shut up, you 17th century measles addict. What? What? Yeah. That's not even an insult, Shane. <laughs> You're addicted to measles. That's just like a fact. I am addicted to measles, and I'm like, fucking owning up to it right now. Like, that's not even an insult, bro. Come on. I know what I am. <laughs> I know what I consume. I know what I like. It's in my okay. nature. Alright, hold on. Switch playing fucking Metal Gear Solid themes. Just snake eater, but replace it with like measles eater. <laughs> measles eater. <laughs> oh, dude, I love measles eater. It's my fa it's my favorite. Hold on. Okay, that's a fun. I almost cut this out. No, we don't need this here. Uh, it's B fifty. Dude, this kid has a lot of extra fucking parts, man. Like that's not supposed to be common. Uh, actually it is. No, like, it's, like, this is an entire, like, spare arm. For an arm that's no, not even being used. Mm hmm Like... That's actually pretty common. No, like, this is, like, this is this arm. This is the left arm? There's this a couple kits where you can build almost the entire kit twice out of spare parts. What the fuck? If you, the only thing you're missing is polycaps. What? Yeah. Man, I guess you really are getting your bang for your buck. Depends. I guess it really does depend on the kit, though. Just start, like, an eBay shop for this. All right. Yeah, Barbados. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, fucking runner. Uh, Some total idiot forgot. Runner B. Uh, part 22. 50 bucks. Here you go. Brand new. Unclipped just for you. Someone will buy it. Someone, oh, I would buy some, it. Someone would, definitely, it someone would definitely buy it. 50 bucks? Hell yeah, they'll take it. He's gonna yeah, nerds will eat anything. He's gonna nords. Nerds. Nords. Nords. Uh, I found a, um, a, a fucking, uh, what's it called? It, it, it's called a Gundam workstation. Mm hmm. And it's so cute. Because it's literally like a little space for cutting your gunpla. And whenever, like, these little plastic bits, they fall through, like, this little, like, sand shifter or sifter. And yeah. they, they, they fall on, like, a tray underneath and they get caught and it's cute. I'm like, oh, that's neat. Nice. And they come in, like, the general, like, you know, fucking Gundam, uh, like, traditional, like, red, white, blue, and yellow. You've got, like, the red char colors. You've got fucking, like, Zaku green. It's like, oh, that's cute. That is adorable. That is very adorbs. I wish I had I wish I had the ability to get the fucking Gundam 
like PC parts. PC? Yeah, there's a bunch of Gundam PC parts, like keyboards and like monitors. And oh, like that's it. Yeah. 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 What you really should be trying to get is uh, the Char GameCube. The Char GameCube? Yeah. There's a there's a Xeon GameCube. Oh, I almost I had the ability to get a Char uh, Game Boy, like Advance. And what happened? I, said, I did not have the money because I'm in debt. Ah, uh, true. <laughs> but I had the ability to get it. I mean, for like hundred I mean, bucks. I mean, yeah. True. Not not much to say to that. If I get if I ever do get a Char GameCube, I'm gonna mod it so I can use it as my main GameCube. I mean, true. You could also just get a GameCube and paint it. I mean, yeah, but it won't be the same. I mean, yes, it will. Nope. It, it literally will. Nope. The only difference is that it probably won't be Japanese. That's why it's cringe. <laughs> That's why it's cringe. Just get a Japanese one and paint it. Nope. nope. All right, now we just need the side panels. I'm gonna say fuck the backpack. For now, is it a fucking machine gun? Oh, that's just telling you that it can hold. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and here's the cock base holder. Uh, where is? Here we go. Uh, B16, and that's gonna here's be color corrected. Dude, right, here we go. I'm gonna have to color correct this right now. All right, after this, it's just the head, and then we're done. <clears throat> what am I missing? You ever think about how wonderful the world would be? If the Beatles just never existed. Yeah, pretty often. I, I, I unironically do think about that a lot. I'm like, man, can you imagine if the Moody Blues became what the Beatles are? No, honestly. Like, like life would be so much fucking better. Like, infinitely better. God damn. Because then the world would be one big JoJo reference. I mean, the Beatles were already, like, referenced. The in, Beatles uh, are a JoJo reference. Well, true. True, actually. Um, but man, it'd be so nice. Like, wouldn't it be nice? Life would be a dream. Uh, I was referencing the Beach Boys there. Do, 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 do. Is it the Beach Boys who sing that? I don't know. Wouldn't it be nice? Be do, 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 do. I forget. They've made like a billion songs. True. True. That is very like true. Right, hold on. Which one's three and four? So red and black. So black tips, red line. Okay. So more gun more gunmetal. Alright. It's the yeah, last it's... bit of it's the last bit of gunmetal that we need. So it'll go in here. After this stream's over, I'm ordering food. I'm hungry as fuck. Dude, I told you to fucking have breakfast before we started this fucking stream. I don't eat breakfast. I told you to eat something before starting the fucking stream. I, I know have, these go on for like have, five hours. I have goldfish. You can order the food now if you want. No, that's fine. We're almost done. Yeah, but I want to I wanna, I wanna order it as a reward to myself. Mm. Oh, I see. Well, you better... We're putting up with your fucking bullshit for fucking five hours. It's only been three and a half. I don't care. So you're gonna have to like wait if you really want to earn it. <clears throat> That's why it's so hard. So you you got you basically have to finish that in a little bit. Cause like I said, I'm like as soon as I'm done with this shit, I'm like done. Yeah, well, you know. mainly because I'm well, also like, like getting really well, tired. You know. Man, as soon as I said, man, fuck the Beatles, we gained like 30 viewers. Good. Everyone's like, yeah, here we go. Gunpla and shitting on the Beatles. That is exactly the niche content that I desire. The anti Beatles <laughs> side of uh, Twitch. <laughs> Some most of Twitch. Good. Just all of Twitch. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The Beatles are mid. The 
Imagine if I was a snub nose 38 revolver. You, you can't say that word. I would imagine. Yeah, it's copyrighted. Please, it, <laughs> it'll it'll get me like struck down. Uh, Ringo Star will come out of his grave and like sue me. No. Was it Ringo? What the fuck was it? No, Ringo makes art. <laughs> See, many Beatles fans would argue that the Beatles themselves make art. No, it's just mostly Ringo. <laughs> it meant their music. Nope. That, that's what, that's what, they, that's what they would argue, but I mean... Maybe they shouldn't be arguing, then. <laughs> Maybe they should stay quiet. Maybe they should shut the fuck up. Yeah. Right. We're bullying, like, the one Beatles fan watching right now. Good. They just left, so... <laughs> I'd imagine. Oh no, I said the word. Oh no. <laughs> no! Dream's gonna get taken down. <laughs> no. Oh no. Actually, wait, Shell. If Michelle's fucking watching, she's probably pissed. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Michelle, that was a joke. Uh. The Beatles make serviceable. Um, uh, uh, Sonic records. They make music for white people who like to go on picnics, not ironically. <laughs> you know, I mean, picnics are pretty, pretty fucking dope. Picnics? Yeah. Oh, picnics, bro? Oh, oh fuck oh, yeah, dude. Oh. Fucking picnics, dude. Bro, you ever, bro, you ever yeah, been bro. on a fucking picnic, bro? You ever bring a bottle of wine and a piece of bread? Holy fuck, dude. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck. Bro, picnics, bro? Gotta go on one. You know, picnics, bro. I fucking not like no all. cap, bro. We got, we got, we got, we gotta go. We 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 hella gotta, we gotta go on hella picnics, bro. Like, like literally, like, legitimately, like like no cap. No ball. Like cap is off. No, no glove. No no glove. <laughs> no glove, bro. What what else do kids say nowadays? That's a lie. Actually, there is glove. It's like coming on Steam pretty soon. Glover? Yeah, Glover. Yeah. Glover's so Full good. Glove. Love Glover, dude. Glover's so fucking good. I fucking love Glover. Like, I, have, I, have my, I have my cart from fucking N64. I, I, I played it. It's very fun. Yeah, Glover's like, unironically really good. Glover's peak fiction. I've yet to finish it, but it's it's good. It's a very hard game to finish. Yeah. Yeah, that, no, yeah that's true. It's it's just a bitch. It's, just, it's a little tiring. Just a wee bit. Like 1997 ball physics is not as fun as it is not fun. Want to believe. No, but it is overall it is an interesting experience, and I'm glad that I played the game. Right, I'm skipping this song. Hopefully, with the PC with the PC uh, port coming out, there will be a mod to make it, it a just, little bit easier. It just makes it normal. <laughs> <clears throat> Real physics this time. Um, there's a there's a YouTuber I watch who makes uh is like one of the only like non cringy fucking like Shin Megami Tensei like content creators. And he's, as soon as he found out that Glover's getting like a PC port, he's like, "Bro, I'm gonna, I can't believe I'm gonna have to make like an hour-long video on Glover now." Deep, yeah, dude. I hope he does. Deep Glover lore, dude. Yeah, no, I'll send it to you if he does. Shit's good. Dude makes good videos just overall. He's like, like, like I said, he's one of the only like Megaton content creators that isn't fucking cringy. Mainly because he actually talks about the Megaton series and doesn't stick to Persona Five. Fallout YouTubers that only talk about Fallout 4. <laughs> the real nightmare. Fallout 4 is actually better than you think. Did you know? Did you know that when you're Sean, you get fucking Sean, he Sean's, bro? Holy fuck. Holy nah, bro, fuck. Fallout 4 is actually a pretty good game, bro. Like, if you play oh, it for only the gameplay. Like, a lot of people, like, say that it's pretty bad, like, hardcore, like, Fallout fans, but they don't know what they're talking about. I I wholeheartedly believe, like unironically, that if Starfield is just Fallout 4 without the Fallout parts, it would be good. It's gonna be a good game. It would be a good literally, standalone game that is not called it, Fallout. It's li like literally the only thing wrong with Fallout 4 is the fact that it's a Fallout game and its story blows. Like <laughs> it's a the, if it was not a Fallout game, right? It would just mm. be like a fucking six, seven out of ten, like a, like a maybe slightly above average with good gunplay, right? Just generic post-apocalyptic game. Yeah, but with the fact that it's Fallout, 
is why it's so shit. Because it does everything wrong that a Fallout game shouldn't be. But if Starfield is just Fallout 4, mm -hmm. like, unironically, it'll be good. Like, I fully believe that. Because Fallout 4 had good combat. It had an interesting, like, art design. I mean, it wasn't Fallout New Vegas mm -hmm. and fucking whatever old Fallout's games were, but the things that made it Fallout held it back from being a mid-game as opposed to, like, a, just a ugh kind of game. Because yeah. I still play Fallout 4. I just play Fallout 4 that's so heavily modded it's unrecognizable of being Fallout 4. I don't play the main story. I do some of the side quests sometimes, and I have the dialogue turned off so that main character doesn't speak. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> It's I don't like I don't know. Hours I feel like and it, millions like, of dollars wasted on voice acting, just so that people yeah, won't listen voice to acting it. that I never wanted. Yeah, true. This, that that is true though. Like, why why did they add voice acting to your character? I, I hate when I games mean, it, do it, that a lot. I mean, it would be fine if it wasn't a Fallout game and it immediately reduced the amount of choices you could make because it had to be voice acted. No, I mean, just in general, I just hate when video games add like voice acting to like single player like. This is this is your character that you just created type of adventures, because then it feels like you just kind of designed the mold around them, and then everything else has already been like predetermined. Yeah, it's that's like, fair. It, it like it happened. To, it happened with a with a fucking uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I hated mm. that V was like voice acted. Like the second they fucking made V vo have a voice, I'm like, why? Why? Because now I'm forced to pick if I like either voice, and then they both are like really fucking bad. Like, male V sounds like a fucking beta cuck, and then, like, female V sounds like a stoner chick. Or not a, so a smoker. And it's like, hmm. Female V is Noi from Dora Hedera. Yeah, and she sounds like shit in English. I don't care if she did good work in other, in other fucking, like, anime. It's just like, man, I hate her voice. She's like, I'm V. And then you've got male V. Oh wait, shit. Oh, I forgot a polycap in the fucking hand. No! <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh, that's like the worst ever. Ah, uh, wait, I can, I can easily fix this, but that's God. That's so funny. God, that is so fucking God funny. Fucking damn it. Uh, but you've got male V who literally just sounds like a beta cuck. I, I fucking hate male V's voice so much. Uh, but this, this is like worse than that. Like, this mistake that I've committed. This sin that I, that plagues me. It should plague you. It does plague me. For like the next five minutes until I try to get this thing fucking open. Uh, somehow. Oh, please just open up. Do not, do not oh, make this- Oh, please let this be a normal field trip! Yeah. No. Please. Gee, golly willigers. Please just let this be a normal stream, Shane. With with me? No yeah. way. <laughs> cruise it out on Cruise Street. Cruise, cruise, cruise. Please, no. Yeah. Shut up, Arnold. Ah, oh, god damn it. Remember when Arnold gets freeze dried in space and dies? Yes, actually. Yes. Unironically, I do. <laughs> and then just pretend oh, like no, it, no. just pretend like it never happened the following fucking episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then just say like, they just move on like nothing, nothing ever. Yeah, it's happen. just like yeah, you'll be fine by next episode. Yeah. So fucking, you hear him heavy breathing through his fucking matted, bloody hair. <laughs> uh. Uh. God damn it! This is so fucking tight. Yeah. <laughs> and not in the good so way. Said, yeah, no. I don't even know how the fuck I'm gonna be able to split this. If I they sell plastic splitters. Uh um, well, pl pl part separators, yeah. Yeah. But uh, god damn it, I do not have them. And I have to be real fucking careful with this too, because I don't wanna like you know. Like I, I wanna split this plastic, but I don't wanna split this plastic, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yes. Well, actually, I've got a replacement armor if I need to. Technically. As long as it's on the right side. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Shane. Okay. 
Government's running out of money. <laughs> that must suck. We need make to make more. more of these. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> this is such a good fucking. Well, what the fuck? It's like this thing. Wait, it doesn't have a polycap. It doesn't tell you to grab a polycap. Why? Does it not need? No, I don't believe you. Now I have to build the fuck. I mean, I have to build the hands anyways, but. I don't fucking believe you telling me this does not require a polycam. For a maybe, fucking... they can, maybe they made the ball joint uh, bigger on one side to hold the, the thing. Like left titties? That's <laughs> short. <laughs> so that's usually... It's usually a, oh, wait. Right? Yes, right ones. Those are usually the bigger ones. Alright, let's find out. Because otherwise, what the fuck? Why give me so many fucking polycaps? <clears throat> In case you fuck up, yeah, I know. In case these things wear, wear like, wear over time, yeah, I know. Well, uh, sometimes they just don't use them. They'll just give you the whole thing, uh, mostly because, like, you only need a couple parts, and it's just cheaper to give you, like, a whole mold. As opposed to give you just the specific ones for every kit. Imagine. Oh, shit, I <laughs> know. Uh, okay, it does fit. Uh, Jesus fuck, dude. All right, well that was. Imagine all the people. This is a this is a waste of time then. Okay, well, let's do it like this then. I keep going. Armed. Armed. Maybe the other arms for the polycap. Probably. That's why there's two arms built. One has a polycap in it, and you can swap it out. Yeah, that's more than likely it. This is such a like this. This has been the weirdest like hit so far that I've built. Like, odd, oddly enough, like fucking. How does how does IBO do this? I, I oh, truly do Bobby. not do not know. Hmm. Like man, don't buy IBO kits. Like I did it because the I'm like you know what fuck it this will be a good like guinea pig. But goddamn, I just remember like building these is not fun. Like it's it's really not fun. Yes, I agree. This should also go in. Like so. I feel like this isn't going in correctly. But you know what? Fuck, it doesn't matter. Anyway. And then we'll have you like this. Was it? Upside down? Yes. Like this. Alright. Let's take this hand out. Let's get the actual part for it that goes on top, which is B34. Hmm. And then we build the head, and then we're done. Uh, well, build the head, build the hammer, and then we're done. All right. God, my hands look like I just murdered an, murdered an automaton. Good. Yeah, as God intended. Cleanse the world from the evil bastards. Erase them. Remove their existence. Cleanse this plane for me. This I commit All right. All right, well, might as well build the other fucking hand. Well, I mean, I, I should, and before I snap it closed, I'm gonna build the, the hammer, too. Oh, God. Alright. Well, I might as well cut you out. I built everything but the head. Jeez, dude. Good. Yeah, so you should, that's how you should build these kits. Wrong. <laughs> no, I, I did it right. You wanna know why I did it right? Mm-hmm. Because it's Gumpla Freedom, bro. Sure. There's no right or wrong way to go about building any of this. It's like when you Where build them. It's like when you build you start building a like perfect grade kid and you skip uh the LEDs till the very end. You can't do that. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. You're you gonna can, have to you have to you, you would have, have to, to disassemble everything you built. Yeah, exactly. You just 
pop out a few things and then that's it. You're good. You sure? <laughs> like you can do it. I mean, yeah, but fucking yeah. that's a lot of work. Oh, well. Go up the freedom, bro. I suppose it is. It, exactly. what I tell you? what I fucking tell you? All right, now there's this really fucking crazy pose that I saw someone put this thing in that I want to do. Uh, I want to put this thing in. So you're gonna. Hold the pose. It, it, it can. It surprised the shit out of me. I was like, "There's no way this fucking thing can do that." And I tried it on the other um, lupus that I have, and it fucking could. And I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, you'll you'll have to see. When I start posing it. It looks. It's gonna be fucking stupid. Alright, before we put this together, oh, well, we can put it together, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna paint this is also with gun, uh, gun metal. Although, it'll be easier to paint it first before I put it together. <clears throat> Alright. Here it is. Not done yet, but that's it. You should have waited because I can't stop painting some of these parts. That's Otherwise, fine. I'm going to. I have to build the. I have to build the the thruster units, anyways. Okay. You can show me. You can show me your your final product then. Oh, here they. These big fucking fishtails. Yeah, exactly. What allows you to jump, nineteen meters or whatever. Was it nineteen? Yep, nineteen point six. Close enough. This metal's all round up. Enough. Twenty meters, bro. Yep. We round up in this household of engineers. I wonder if this thing's running out of paint. <clears throat> Maybe. I've got another one if I did if I did run out, but I like the idea that any plastic I fuck up on these kits will just be more weathering than I do. <laughs> well, might as well. I mean, I don't give a fuck. This it's kit's not like gonna I can be beat fix up it. Anyway. I mean, the, the, I'm co I'm coating these things in blood, so. Well, yeah, but it's also not Blood like you can really it. fix it anyways. I could if I had, like, putty. Oh, that's true. I, I completely fucking forget about that sometimes. I have a whole bunch of it. I just never, I haven't used it yet. Like I told you about uh, that uh, review that I was watching of the high new that some dude was doing. And when he was building the head, he fucking lost, like, uh, a bit of the forehead. It's like one little blue dot that goes in the for like the forehead uh, blue camera. He mm. fucking lost that. And so for the review, he's like, well, shit. The one from the high grade doesn't fit in it because this thing was like a master grade or whatever. So he mm -hmm. just made one out of putty. Yeah. And then he found it like a day later. Me building the deep striker. I literally cut a piece of the runner off and I, 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 I fucking shoved it in the hole and I glued it in and it looks almost indistinguishable. <laughs> for the what? For my deep striker. Uh, deep striker is from uh, the novel. It's uh, the big fucking spaceship looking one. The one that's more ship than Gundam. Oh, it doesn't ring a bell. Yeah. Uh, it has a big fucking. 
there's a big fuck off cannon on it that's like 26 uh, inches long. Oh, oh yeah, that one, that one. Remember? Yeah, we talked about that at night. Or one night, I mean. At night. <laughs> it makes it sound more uh, scandalous. Yeah, I know. When I word it we like that. We talked about it at night. You remember? Yeah. It was a passionate evening of mecha You're... discussion. Yeah, basically screaming at each other. Yeah, actually. As we do. Yeah, we were just playing Halo. <laughs> Fuck it. And screaming at each other. Yeah. Fucking take me! No! Take me, you cunt! And then you weren't taking B. And then I got my ass kicked while trying to defend C. Good times. You're my dog. Yeah. It's fucking crying into the mic. Come here. He, he misses Johnny guitar. He no, he doesn't. I haven't raised him that way. <laughs> I didn't race him that way. Sure about that? Pretty you know sure. where your sister's been teaching him? I hopefully not blasphemous shit like Johnny guitar. Johnny guitar. No. Oh. Dude, if your dog would have howled at the same time you fucking yelled out your, your shit, that would have been, been funny. That would have been a nice, well-timed. Like owner, like pet yell. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't live in a fairy tale like that. True. You ever just like think, man? What if you're saying like, computer, turn off? Would actually just end the simulation. I would, you know, sometimes. But then it doesn't. It would be quite nice. That's a nice little Star Trek reference for some of you nerds in chat. Computer hurt my balls. Out! It's real. It's all real. I think in one episode of Next Generation, they tried to, like, uh... They had... CBT? No, they simulated childbirth. Chowder? The cartoon? Childbirth. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say chowder, why? You take the moon, and then you take the moon, and you take the moon. And then you take the moon. Yeah, sure. You they keep fucking... stealing the moon. They did chowder, yeah. 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 One of the greatest fucking cartoons to ever exist. Yeah, they did that back in the 80s. Yeah, of course they did. Yeah, chowder's on ironic, they... though, really fucking good. I love chowder. Like, I rewatched it recently, like last year, around fall, and it still held up. It does. It really does. It, it's still really fucking good. Oh, shit. Fuck. Now I just have you take the moon and you take the moon. You take the you moon and you take the moon. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like, on a loop forever. Like, that, like that's just in my head now. Great. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Good you. work. Just kidding. You take the moon and you take the moon and you fuck. I dropped the piece and you take the moon. Oh, jeez. So you get yeah. for being a menace to society. Shut up. I thought you would agree don't, with me. Don't you dare judge me. I'm not judging you, I'm just, you know, stating the obvious. The judge. You can't judge me, only God can. God screams at me for what I've done. <laughs> 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 he screams at me for what I've become. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, God. And every time I pray to him at night, he fucking screams out his lungs. Because he knows he has to see this abomination that I've become. And every time we kiss, I, I swear, I kiss, I swear I could fly. Yeah. Yeah, we're not bringing Cascada into this. Like, German music is great in Alpena right now. It's a Nightcore remix, buddy. No, it's just it's just German pop. Ew. Why would they drink soda in Germany? They love Fanta. Why? Because uh, during World War II, <clears throat> Coca-Cola, uh, well, the U.S. was like, "Hey, stop, stop selling Coke to Nazis." And Coca-Cola was like, okay, so they invented and then, Fanta. And then Chef Boyardee was like, Bleh. and then made swastika chicken noodle soup. 
No, they just invented Fanta. And then they, oh, they like... sold Fanta to the Germans. Filled with methamphetamine? Uh, this will keep you up during the bombing. Uh, no, it was rage rooms. Or the equivalent oh, of. Rage rooms? Yeah. That sounds or... fucking terrifying. Mm -hmm. No, it's what... I mean, Vikings used to take them. Oh, yeah, so hallucinogens. That's, that, that's how we got berserkers. See, if, oh, you, if, you, fun, if you would have read uh, Vinland Saga, you would know what I'm talking about. I, you know, it's on, it's on my radar. I've been meaning to read it. Why like, haven't I ran you? out of shit to read it on my lunch break. It's fucking, it's, it's Viking Berserk. I know, I, I, I ran out of shit to, to read on my, my lunch breaks. I just finished all of, uh, all of fucking Dead Dead Demon. And I was like, I, I should read something next. Yeah, read Vinland. It's not done yet. And you're going to catch up to it. And you'll be like, fuck. And then the manga cut's going to die. It's never going to end. No, don't say that. <laughs> he has hope. He has a chance. He started early. The circle of life. <laughs> and no successful mangaka can finish their works. Yeah, basically. Akira Toriyama was the only one to make it out, and he decided to jump back into the into the loop and make terrible works and make something horrible known as Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> And then have some and because of that, he will be punished. He will be punished. He will be punished. I will see fit to that. For his crimes against my people. <laughs> the Japanese? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my people? Yeah. Yeah, my, my people, Goku? My, yeah, Goku's my people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We should go in the hole, dude. Hold Good. Get in there. Sorry, I'm painting this now again so that I don't have to fucking paint this later. We built the head, and then we built the head, and then we built the head, and then we built the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking. I knew it was gonna get fucking stuck in your head. And then we, and then we're done. Like for reals, like for realsies. So I'm also That's getting tired. You built the this head, right? and you built the head. What's up? I'm trying to see if I built this right. Uh, maybe. Nope. I love how the audience steadily decreased over time. The more Good. we like, like it, it, it was like at its peak when we were doing fucking like uh, Chris Chan fan fiction. Yeah, they loved it. Like that was peak, like uh, like peak viewership. And then once we got back into like normal stuff, it was like, what? Mm. Hey, we should be off the off the cuff more often. Nah, I don't appeal to the masses. I do. I know you do. I don't. Fuck! Come on. Yeah, I got you, bitch. I got you fucking open. Hey, there we I'm go. revealing your secrets. There we go. Mm. You now build I... the head, and you build the head. And you build the head, and you build the head. Let's go into a fucking psychotic breakdown. So come on and feel free to build some head. To build the head. Come on. You, this fucking... I feel like I really am just running out of a uh, gunmetal marker. Which in a way is good, because that means that I've gotten my mileage out of it. Oh my fucking god, hold on. Yes, yeah, suffer. Ball joint is not going in. I told I told you Toriyama would pay for your for your sins. And here you are, suffering for him. I hate how sharp these pieces are, it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel building the side bastard. That motherfucker was sharp. As was a uh, getter arc, actually. Holy shit! The amount of effort I had to put into putting that ball joint into that that polycap socket was immense. I was gonna like, say that bite was it like, in, that but took no. strength to do. It didn't slide in. No, I, I had to force it in. I told you to use loop. <laughs> yeah, I have it. It's just it's very messy. <laughs> it's water based. It does not work very well. It's gonna strip the paint. No, not the water based one. It definitely not the water based one. I'm talking more fucking like like. 
it would just like trying to wash it off would create more lube. <laughs> the kit starts to sweat all of a sudden and just like the arm pops out. God no. So you're gonna have to do it again. You're gonna have to do it again. Oh fuck. My neck's killing me. Ah, I got you, bitch. Yeah. It's good though, we good though, we good though. Hmm. Alright. Now we can build the head. <laughs> Which should have been the first thing, technically. Yep. Alright. But we're almost done with this fucking Barbados. Once it's done, again, uh, sometime next week we're gonna fucking go nuts with weathering it. I'll test out some of the weathering uh, on my own with uh, the uh, real touch kit on like uh, some of the runners and then um, we'll see if we end up using that otherwise I'll try to see if we end up using acrylic paints otherwise probably not and I'll just end up using um, the real touch markers anyways because they're good it's just gotta figure out how to weather and then um, from there I can just seal it all up with a uh, clear coat Oh god, I'm gonna have to do this fucking heavy amount of force shit again to get this ball joint in. Alright, B20, D2, which is this. And C5, god damn it. Isn't this for the back? There we go. Yes, it is. Uh, Alright, so here's B20. Is this the fucking mouth? Because I'm gonna. It. It is. Okay, I'm gonna handle line that. Uh, well, it's been 30 minutes with this song. So get that too. Jesus fuck. I should have been like 43. Uh, hmm. Should have just had like Johnny guitar, like 50 minute, like loop. Oh god, no. I might just close with that. My Johnny, my Johnny guitar. Right. Arm bell off. Jeez, dude, I can't believe you're obsessed with that song. I know. My Johnny gets on. Oh, Alright. So, let's get this piece out. Ah. Now be real careful. There we go. Alright, oh so what God. else? Uh, C5. Fuck. C. Wait. What's D? Oh, here we go. C. What the fuck? This piece. Okay. Weird. But okay. I love, I love how for all these, like, songs, um, the background image is just literally, like, Images from fucking war, like, like just war images. Yeah. Like this, this song is is followers credo extended from Fallout, and the background is just like the aftermath of a fucking explosion. It's just like a uh, 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 like rubble, like buildings in the background that are like falling apart and decrepit. Instead of just like a f weird Fallout like tower armor man. Like Johnny Fallout instead of that. So Johnny Fallout. Yeah. The classic hmm. Fallout character, Johnny Fallout. Yeah, he's the he's the main protagonist, John Fallout. <laughs> You're not wrong, I guess. Yeah. In Fallout New Vegas, he gets a different name. In Fallout Three, he gets a different name. Um, in New Vegas, he's the most he's probably the most famous. It's Johnny Guitar. <laughs> Johnny Guitar, aka the Courier. Yeah. Exactly. See, you know. You know him. 
You know him well. True. And he is finally back. To kick some butt. Well, no. I was gonna say he's got a package to to uh, to sell, but that doesn't that doesn't go with it. No, that does not go with it. All right, let me get these fucking stickers on. I got the fish tails on. Oh, once the stickers are after the chen gets put in. Okay. Well, that's fine. Nope. Am I supposed to connect this into the into the body? There's a stand I have. Stando? No, I mean Stando. I have. I have a. This thing can go on a stand. I'm just not sure how that would work. Stando. Chojo. Chojo. Berber. 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 Chojo. Berber. 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 Why the Flintstones? All fucking things. Why the Flintstones? It was stuck in my head. No, the arm. <laughs> the Flintstones theme is stuck in your head, but not Johnny Guitar? Nope. I legitimately refuse to listen to Johnny Guitar, but I've listened to the Flintstones theme at least twice today. <laughs> Johnny Guitar. I'm going to listen to that more now. Nope. I'm going to invite you to watch anime or something. <laughs> it's just going to It's just going to be Johnny Guitar loop 24-7. Yeah, I'll just fucking die. Probably, yeah. I'll say it was consensual. Consensual Johnny Guitar like <laughs> torture. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like he was a real history buff. Uh and he really liked Guantanamo Bay. And he told me that they used to play the song uh for prisoners. Boy did he love it. He loved those he loved that Johnny Guitar. He loved Johnny Guitar a lot. His favorite radio station used to play it. Can't remember the name of it. It's been forever. Oh, yeah, New Vegas Radio. Yeah, New Vegas Radio. There we go. Exactly. That was his favorite. I'm going to miss him. But God is judging his sins now. <laughs> <laughs> but he's disappointed God. And God said, I can't, I can't allow him to be part of my thoughts anymore. He might not get accepted because he hates Johnny Guitar. And God is a big country fan. <laughs> Johnny Guitar, you a fucking country? I guess, maybe it is, is. Is it? I guess it would be country, wouldn't it? No. The genre of the song. It's just like alternative rock. That's yeah. Johnny mm. Guitar's alternative <laughs> rock. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I mean, it was indie, wasn't it? It's indie rock. Indie rock, maybe. <laughs> Did Johnny Guitar have a music label? Is Johnny Guitar an indie artist? Find out more questions. on Behind the Music, New Vegas Edition. These are very important questions. But later on, Leonard Skinner, but for now. Yeah, Leonard Skinner. Yeah. <laughs> I will come later, but for now, Johnny Guitar. Your dog sounds like it's been left. It, it sounds like it's been abandoned in a post-apocalyptic like scenario. I gave him food, and I gave him water, and I let him out, and he still doesn't understand that my my family is not home right now. Well, if your dog didn't hate you, it's be a different story. You're probably right. True, true. That's true. Uh, let's see, 19 and 18. Almost, almost done. I am finished. I've just finished right now. I just need the face. I need like the side and a V fin, and then that's it. Wait, hold on. It's not painted. I'm gonna paint that when we do the weathering stream. Here's the fucking the thruster units. Those do look cool. That is a really cool kit. Just overall. I no, I love this kit. I'm gonna put this on a stand probably. Stand up. Because I have the stand. I just have to fucking finish it. Oh, it came with one that you have to build. It does come with a stand. Then you're not done, bitch. I built the stand. I built the stand. That was the first thing I built, actually. You're not done, bitch. Funny enough. I you built, built the back. Bu who, who the fuck builds the stand? See, like, what the f Well, never mind. You know, that's Gumpla Freedom. 
I build the stand first because it's easier. Yeah, it's Gumpla Freedom. Have fun. Mm. Mm. Gumpla Freedom, you fucking psychopath. That's like buying a Master Grade kit and then not painting the figure. Not painting the pilot. Oh, yeah, maybe. Not like anyone else will see it, but you. Well, exactly. You I paint mine because I like to show people the figure inside. Like, look at this. The cockpit opens up. Yeah, I do. And, and then look it's inside. Like, oh, wow. Like, oh, cool. Oh, cool, Shane. I'm so glad you showed me that. I'm like, yeah, sure. Oh, thank no. you. Okay, good thing I caught this now. Uh, we're going to have to shave these, not V fins, but these fucking like spikes on the side of the head. Come on. Come on. Here, since, you, since you've been exposed more to it, because I don't fucking remember off the top of my head, uh, how did the guy introduce Johnny Guitar? I don't remember. Yes, you do. I literally don't remember. Yes, you do. Because I haven't deactivated it in my mods. It doesn't matter, but you do remember. I don't remember it because I know I haven't listened to Johnny Guitar in over 200 hours of playing New Vegas recently. Doesn't matter, you should still remember. No, I don't. I deactivated it so I wouldn't remember because I, I hate that song. No, it doesn't matter if you hate it, like you would still remember how the guy introduces it. No, like, I don't. Even if it's even if it's like been removed from like the song catalog, I'm pretty sure the guy still goes and here's Johnny Guitar. No, because the the mod does that. It removes any mention of Johnny Guitar. <laughs> Jesus. I'm, uh, I'm serious, dude. It, like, legitimately gets rid of all of it. I fucking hate that song. <laughs> Johnny Guitar. What a, what a weird name. I'd like to what have. Weird. Like, who the fuck would be called Johnny? Literally. Like, what kind of a name is that? Like, who, who sat... What kind of like, name is Guitar? No, 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 like that's different, dude. Like back then, they used to name people based off their professions. So, like, guitar is normal. The fuck would be who would be called Johnny? Of all of all the fucking names on the planet, like, why be called Johnny? Like, who? who why do you like? What did you do to piss off your parents? Johnny oh D good. no! Oh, never mind. Ooh, crisis averted. Oh my god. This tiny fucking know? white piece w went flying, and I was able to just see it. Holy shit. And Congrats. this kid doesn't come with extras. Comes with extras for everything else. Spare arm? Check. Spare leg? Check. Spare side panel? Not check. See what happens for mocking Johnny Guitar? That was your fault. His wrath shall be felt upon those who dare talk shit against Johnny Guitar. I I don't I don't want to I don't want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> no I actually knew, I modded a um I modded a custom radio into into Fallout New Vegas, and I basically added a bunch of psychobilly songs in it. So it's like kind of like appropriate punk music jeez like lore appropriate it's fucking great this is the fucking trash mouths the trash men it's like the cramps and other bands like similar just like bird is the word 24 7 uh i don't think i don't think the trash men are psychobilly you don't know that i, I would probably i would probably listen to them if i were they're proto psychobilly they're proto punk no, they're proto punk and you don't fucking <laughs> listen to them Proto Psycho Billy is fucking Elvis. Yeah, no, but they're proto punk and you don't fucking the, listen to them. Or like the Meteors. Yeah, and you don't fucking listen to them again. I listen to the Meteors. No, to fuck the Trashmen. Why do I listen to the Trashmen? Because they're proto punk. No. Yes. Proto punk is more like the proto punk's more like the monks. You you don't even listen to the Trashmen, bitch. How the fuck you know what, the how do you know if they are or not? Ah, fuck, I almost I already broke the Vfin. See what you make me fucking do. You broke the Vfin? A little bit. Uh, I can still, I can, well, I mean, it's not broken, broken. Uh, no, we're good, we're good. Jeez, I was fucking worried. Jeez. Oh, jeez. See, the reason why you haven't listened to him is because you haven't heard. 
did not. I have not heard, no. You have not heard? My dog has not either, apparently. You, you, it's because you don't know. That's correct. Yeah, you don't know. This music got incredibly epic for no reason. What part is this? What part is this for? I don't know. Oh, these are the sub arms. Right. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be using the sub arms. Oh, there we go. It goes in like this. Okay. And I'm assuming this is being held. Or this holds this in place? It, it does not. It's just like. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm fucking dumb. It goes up here. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. All right. There we go. Those little sharp uh, little uh, V fins now. Instead of them being like restricted. Anything else that I'm missing from this? No, oh, cool. I'm done. All right. Let's. Uh, well, I need to <laughs> finally cut out the final fucking hand, and that, and now we're done. Like last bit, last bit, and then for reals we're done. Take pictures, pose them, and then we get ready to wrap things up. Oh, but seriously, Shane, don't you know about the word? Nope. Damn. I thought everybody yeah, I knew. Sometimes I wish I didn't. Now I'm doing what you were doing in my dream. <laughs> no, that, now, no, now you really are. Like, it's, it's literally you doing. Like, nope. I haven't heard of it. The circle of conflict. Nope. Nope, didn't know of it. Oh, I've never heard of it. The, what is what? I'm sorry, Richard. No, I've never heard of it. No, sorry. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Sorry, pal. I still have to do the backpack uh, that holds all the weapons, and I still have to build all the weapons, but honestly, I think for today I'm done. That's fine. I have, this, I have the main kit built, and I'll, I'll just build the rest of it and then paint later. That's fine. We, ac we, s we accomplished what we set out to accomplish. The kit's finally built, which is... I'm sure my fucking friend who gave it to me would be ecst ecstatic that I actually went out and tried do it, like building it. Hmm. That's good. This, this shit is back heavy. Is it? Yeah, it, it can be. I just have to move it. I just have to angle it forward a bit. <laughs> Look at this giant Event. fucking mace, man. This mace is is HG sized. My god. I know. All right. All right, so this thing doesn't have any stickers on it, except for the eyes. Like I said, I'll be probably doing a lot of that off stream. Uh, maybe painting it myself. I still have to do paint correction. The claws aren't fucking like metallic like they should be. Um this arm is loose as fuck because that's IBO kits for you. Alright, let me get it to the pose that I fucking want. Uh, sick. I don't know. I'll get this ready. And we'll take the juice. Oh, I see we're plugged in. Okay, hold on. Give me a sec. The stand. Stand it. I plug it into the stand so I don't have to worry about it standing up on its own. Stand it. Also, looks better in the air, anyways. Stand it. I can pull this piece off. Holy shit. Alright. So. I'll show it off once again here before I actually take a picture of this thing in a pose. Uh, but here we have the Gundam Barbados. Just, again, very basic Barbados. It is a very mediocre kit. It is whatever. Uh, again, honestly, it is not an incredible kit. Very basic. Again, if you really want to get this kit, don't pay more than fucking 10 bucks for this thing. Like, 15 at most. You know, but don't don't overpay for this thing. Like I said at the very beginning of the stream, some people are selling this fucking shit for like fifty bucks, forty bucks in some cases. Don't pay don't pay that much for this fucking kit. It really isn't worth. It. I don't care how much you like the Barbados, it's not worth fifty bucks. It's not worth more than that. I paid thirteen for this, so please try not to overpay. But overall, like I said, I mean, when it comes to like articulation, it's very basic. Like you do get. A good 90 degree for the uh, leg here uh, if we push it forward all the way <clears throat> same thing uh, if we move the skirt up a little bit more you do get again a nice uh, <clears throat> degree of actual articulation same with the bending 
uh foot is of course limited as usual because it's a fucking ibo like leg or ibo foot which are really weird uh when it comes to articulation all the time hmm <clears throat> what else uh nope. uh let's see arm arm is 360 degrees which you wouldn't need and that's about it really i mean elbows right i mean it, it does either go completely straight or it does bend 90 degrees and then that's it it has poly caps so it sucks uh over time these things are gonna be a pain in the ass but again if you yourself are dealing with a kit that has poly caps just shove uh tissue paper into the joints and it'll make them stiff again like that's what i'm gonna do with this arm that is like super loose as you can see i'm just like barely touching it and it's already like super loose this arm though on the other hand if i were to try that it's it, it fights me as it should hmm but all right i'm gonna go ahead and try to put this in a really fucking wild pose that i saw and see if i can recreate it and then that'll be the uh like the what we'll get ready to wrap things up shane will take a picture of his uh Muv love kit and then we'll put him up on screen and then we'll get ready so let's do this i'm gonna turn the cams off and then let's get ready like this in the wrap-up screen um so stream's basically over but not not yet so like in about five minutes maybe. doesn't look super cool from that angle but uh I'll, I'll get it later anyways uh let's actually put the final results up here on screen so which one did you want the first one let's uh Hmm. Alright, so here's Shane's final results. There we go. So, which muffle of kit was this again? There we go. He did put it on the stand. Nice. Here, just real quick so this is like uh the uh barbados kit like just fully posed uh it's it looks kind of weird may looks at the angle um but you can kind of see what i was going for i'll try to post the original like post that i was gonna go for uh here in a second uh <clears throat> but like this is what i meant by like being surprised by like this shit being able to like stand on one foot is fucking crazy uh, like i had no idea I could actually do this the pose that i was going for was this one and i got a little close that was the original pose or that was the pose that i wanted to go for which looks fucking wild just overall like it's crazy how some of these kits can be posed uh not gonna lie uh to not do that again. there we go uh i do want to leave all right let's go ahead and pause the music here in the background and there we go but yeah so that was just the very like this is probably the shortest i think uh like gunpla like stream uh that we've had this technically was over like an hour ago um <clears throat> but yeah no overall it was wasn't too bad lighting's still pretty good um with this new lamp which is one thing that i really wanted to test out um and yeah things are gucci <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, let's get ready to wrap things up here. What should we close with today, though? These two here. Hmm. Okay. So, let's see. Hmm. What would be a good ending song? Um. Oh, I know. Uh, here we go. 
and go with this. <clears throat> Alright. So, as usual, for those of you who are still here, I really do want to thank you so much for joining me tonight. Or today, actually. It's not tonight. Uh, and hopefully you had fun. Uh, excluding our fucking, like, bullshit and all the shit that we talked about today. <laughs> which was, ha like, half of it was really fucking stupid. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. We, like I said, um, this is just a quick building stream. Sometime next week, more than likely, either Wednesday or Thursday, whenever Shane's free, uh, we'll do a weathering stream where that Barbados that I just built, I'm going to go ahead and start weathering. We're going to make that thing look very battle-worn, and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, not too bad. Um, we're going to go over with like tips and tricks as to like what the fuck to do. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to get that thing with, uh, I'm going to try to hit that thing with like a matte spray uh like coat beforehand because that shit takes like what 30 minutes to dry or some shit or it's overnight yeah like around overnight to dry so <clears throat> i'll basically do it like the day before like as soon as i get the matte spray i'm just gonna like spray that shit outside or something uh do that and then just like let that shit dry because just so that it's ready but um yeah uh so i'll go ahead and leave you guys with